Cabrera, KSL News Radio. Thanks, Eric. KSL News Time 301. And we have breaking news at KSL. Police have officially charged a man they say is connected to four hit and run crashes in Salt Lake County. Police arrested on FEM about two weeks ago in connection with a hit and run on North Temple that left a woman seriously injured. FAM is now facing six attempted murder charges. Now on display in Salt Lake City for the first time ever, some of the historic artifacts just bought by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobe paid a visit to the Church Museum for a first look. A room at the museum is now filled with what they're calling sacred artifacts, all part of a recent purchase from the Community of Christ, which included the Kirtland Temple. There are pages from Joseph Smith's translation of the Bible and letters written back and forth between Joseph and Emma Smith. Sometimes history can be like a still life where you imagine these people as being nothing like you. And when you see and read the documents they left behind, you actually realize we have far more in common with the people of the past than maybe we think. Historian with the Church History Department, Spencer McBride, says the most important thing is preserving these documents. The display will continue at the Church History Museum through October. McBride says it was quite a feat to get all these items on display so quickly. Amy Kobabe, KSL News Radio. And mere weeks after closing on the purchase, the church has begun offering free public tours of the Kirtland Temple, a revered landmark to Latter day Saints. It was the first temple, the only one built under the leadership of Joseph Smith. The four, first tour group went inside 10 o'clock this morning. KSL News Time 303, the U.S. Supreme Court is set to take up an abortion pill case. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, the justices will hear a case about the abortion pill Mifepristone. The drug may face restrictions on being mailed to patients nationwide if the justices roll back ask access. It's the first abortion case the Supreme Court will decide after overturning Roe v. Wade two years ago. Veronica Fazone is a nonprofit gender justice lawyer in Washington, D.C. Amongst my friends, it is a lot of fear. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says the White House is expressing confidence in the FDA's authority to regulate the abortion pill. This administration will continue to stand by FDA's independent approval and regulation of mifeprestone as safe and effective. The Supreme Court is set to hear arguments tomorrow on whether states can ban the drug which the FDA approved more than two decades ago. The U.N. Security Council has issued its first demand for a ceasefire in Gaza with the U.S. angering Israel by abstaining from the vote. Israel responded by canceling this week's visit to Washington by a high-level delegation. National Security Advisor John Kirby says the administration is perplexed. The Prime Minister's office seems to be indicating through public statements that we somehow changed here. We haven't. It is the strongest public clash between the Allies since the war began. This week's meeting was expected to focus on Israel's plans for a ground assault in Rafah, where more than a million civilians are taking refuge in war-torn Gaza. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. Is anyone surprised college is going to cost more next fall? KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson on tuition hikes to Utah State colleges and universities. The Utah Board of Higher Education approved a 0.3% average increase, but they want to reassure everyone that Utah schools are far less expensive than other colleges around the country. They are also coming off a tuition increase freeze put in place by Governor Cox last year for which colleges had to cover the costs internally. While this applies to most public colleges and universities, tuition rates won't be increasing for Technical College this coming fall. KSL News Time 306. Monday afternoon, uh, questionable weather. Let's check first look traffic. Here's Ricky Meese. Well, it does look like the snow has eased quite a bit, but we still have a lot of wet roads out there. And crews are on the scene of a crash in Davis County, northbound Main Street at Church Street in Layton. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Stay right here. My minutes on the way next on KSL. Looking for a secure retirement plan without market risk? Look no further. Lyle Boss, president of Boss Financial, specializes in no market risk retirement strategies with guarantees of principal, guaranteed growth, and lifelong income. Join Lyle right here each Saturday and Sunday for his Safe Money radio show and call him now at 855-355-SAFE for your complimentary customized Safe Money information kit and Safe Money book. Nothing but upside here at 855-355-SAFE. Only one type of burger. For every palate. 
fries are extra. Oh. Large in size. Hey. We've got the shakes. Oh. Going over the brim. Hey, this is Chris from JCW's. Put a positive, delicious spin on your day at any one of our five locations. In Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, or Harriman. JCW's, quality and a lot of it. You love the feel behind the wheel. You'll love the new 2024 Acura MDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 MDX only $589 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. Acura. 1111 South Main. You'll love the new 2024 Acura RDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 RDX Super Handling All-Wheel Drive only $459 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. Acura. 1111 South Main. This is My Minute of News, brought to you by Any Hour Services, Electrical Plumbing, Heating, and Air, AnyHourServices.com. As we head into the heart of the presidential campaign, I want to tell you about a scientific discovery of a new species of fish. It's a freshwater fish that swims in the streams of Southeast Asia. Ichthyologists were shocked to find this fish the size of a fingernail much to their surprise, makes noise. The fish is called Danianella cerebrum. Danianella cerebrum, and you don't want it in your home aquarium. The noise that this little Danianella cerebrum makes, if you're nearby, is as loud as a jackhammer. 140 decibels, about the same as an ambulance siren. Sometimes the littlest things make the biggest noise, a bullet. A bullet is only about this big. When you fire a 22, the noise is about the same as this fish, about 140 decibels. So you want to hear this slender little half-inch thingamabob? Listen. Scientists say this fish has a muscle that never fatigues and it rubs against the ribs. Sort of like a baseball card snapping against bicycle spokes. And as we head into political season, I'd like you to remember, like Danielle Cerebrum, sometimes the littlest people make the loudest noise. Of which, there's been plenty so far. You can't love your country only when you win. Two nights ago, we all heard Crooked Joe's angry, dark, hate-filled rant. Didn't it bring us together? Remember, he said, I'm to bring the country to, 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 together. I say, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. So going forward, remember, if you hear a lot of noise and something seems fishy, protect your ears. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Your traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Well, Little Cottonwood Canyon is open once again. Plows have been through and the road is in pretty good shape. Uh, they still have the traction law in place, though, so there still may be some icy and slick spots. But right now, if you're in the valley traveling any of the freeways, you're good to go. No accidents, no delays. I-15 in Utah County, all clear both directions between the point and Provo. Steve? Right now, a straight shot traveling both north and southbound 15. Got full speed between downtown Salt Lake and Brigham City. We have a crash on the northbound Main Street, though, at Church Street in Layton. That's on the right shoulder. Plus another crash clearing right now, southbound 89 at 400 North in Fruit Heights. The Utah Symphony is performing Dvorak's Violin Concerto with guest soloists Irina Huang. It's monumental, dramatic, and selling fast. Get your tickets at utahsymphony.org. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. The brunt of the storm has passed, but we are on the backside with cool northwest flow creating for some rain snow showers today with a high of 48. Overnight, 33 with a chance for snow showers. Tomorrow, repeat performance, 48 the high with scattered rain snow showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. At this moment in Salt Lake City, 47 degrees. The sun just popped out. That'll change in a few minutes, don't you worry. And they're going to be changing coaches at Utah State University at the end of this basketball season. Stay with us. Details on the way. We're streaming live at kslnewsradio.com. This is Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 311 Monday afternoon. First things first, I'm going to say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been.
I went out to dinner with Mike Wilson for many hour services over the weekend. I gave him a big man hug, you know, one pat on the back, never two. That's weird. And I looked down and he's wearing blue booties, the kind with the elastic that fits over your shoes. And I'm like, dude, interesting fashion choice. And he explained it was raining and he didn't want to get the restaurant's floor dirty. See, that's the kind of conscientiousness you get from top to bottom at any hour services. When a certified tech comes to work on your heat, your AC, plumbing, or electric, they're going to put on those gorgeous blue booties to keep your carpet clean. That's also the attention to detail you get when any hour checks your AC system. You get a written report that evaluates how it's running. There's no pressure, just professionalism. Check out their 20,000 Google reviews and make an appointment. Call 801-443-7400. That's 801-443-7400. Or go to anyhourservices.com. Nobody does sassy footwear like any hour services. Well, hello, it's me again. And like me, I'll bet you're ready for spring in a little green lawn again. I've got a tip. Don't spend a fortune hiring a lawn care company. Save some money and do it yourself. And here's how. Go to j j Garden Center in Layton and purchase their simple, color-coded five-step fertilizer system that covers up to 10,000 square feet and will rejuvenate your lawn for just $199.98. And nobody beats j js price. So for a lush, healthy, green lawn, come and try j j Garden Center's five-step fertilizer system. I promise you won't regret it. Take the Leighton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then with two miles, you've got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, J&J Garden Center. Rejuvenate your lawn with the simple five-step fertilizer system from J&J Garden Center in Leighton. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA. And go to gawontwait.com. Spend time with KSL News Radio and get a deeper understanding of the world around us. I do listen to KSL so much because you've got voices like Boyd Matheson. I listen to him every day. You can trust him. Inside Sources, weekdays 1 to 3. On KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 315. The three things you need to know this hour first. The Utah Board of Higher Education just approved a 3.3% increase in college tuition going into effect this fall. I'm KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson. Second, police have now charged 26 year old An Pham with four Salt Lake County hit and runs. Pham is now going to face six attempted murder charges. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. We have the final cleanup of a crash in Fruit Heights. This is southbound Highway 89 at 4th North. Those vehicles are over to the shoulder. If you're traveling I-15, you're looking at a good drive either direction as you go between Ogden and Provo. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. More scattered rain, snow, showers today, and cool. I'm Matt Johnson. 46 at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios now. Our top national stories... From ABC News, I'm Lindsay Davis, anchor of Prime Streaming Weeknights on ABC News Live. A court date is now set for former President Donald Trump's hush money trial. Jury selection will begin on April 15th. Trump's team wanted more time. The former president called today's decision completely unfair, vowing to fight. I don't know if we're having one. We're going to be appealing right now, I can tell you that. But some good news for the former president in a civil fraud case in New York. The appeals court reduced the bond needed to secure his assets from $464 million to $175 million. Trump says he'll comply. Well, I respect the appellate division for substantially reducing that ridiculous amount of money that was put on by a corrupt judge. He has 10 days to post the new amount. 
Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu canceled an Israeli delegation's visit to Washington after the U.S. abstained and did not use its veto power to stop a U.N. Security Council resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. The Israeli leader accusing the U.S. of abandoning its position. The resolution that passed does not condition a ceasefire on the release of Israeli hostages. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby denying that the U.S. vote to abstain is a shift in policy. Jordana Miller, ABC News, Jerusalem. Russian officials say they have arrested and charged four men with Friday's attack at a concert hall in Moscow that left at least 139 dead and hundreds more injured. Russian President Vladimir Putin says the massacre was committed by radical Islamists but is not ruling out a connection to Ukraine. Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun announced he will step down at the end of 2024 following several safety failures, including the mid-air door blowout. ABC Sam Sweeney has more. We knew something was up last week when the airlines, the CEOs of the major airlines in the U.S. and around the world demanded a meeting with Boeing and its board, but did not want to include the CEO. That signaled their lack of confidence and their desire for change. He'll res retire at the, resign at the end of the year. You're listening to ABC News. And now the KSL in-depth after winning the Mountain West and grabbing an NCAA tournament berth. Utah State's head basketball coach is reportedly leaving the Aggies. Joining us live, KSL TV sports anchor Sam Farnsworth. Hey, Sam. Hey, how's it going, Jeff? All right. So Dan Sprinkle is is definitely leaving? Definitely. It's already been announced by the University of Washington that he has accepted the job. He is the Washington Huskies' new men's basketball coach. So why was he so hot that people were after him and they were scampering after USU's coach? Because he did something that no other coach in college basketball has done before. He came to Utah State with only three players remaining from the previous team's roster. He brought in 13 new faces, basically all these guys who'd never played before, and they go on to win 28 games, they go on to win the regular season Mountain West title, and they win a game at the NCAA tournament, and that had the attention of all the other coaches in the country, all the other athletic departments in the country, and suddenly he quickly rose to the top of everyone's want list. Was he getting a lot of offers, really? And if so, why did he pick the Washington Huskies? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure exactly why he chose Washington, but I do know the uh, the amount of money that he is reportedly going to make is substantial. It'll be three to four times more than what he's making uh, at, at you know Utah State. And so that certainly is uh, probably quite a bit enough to twist one's elbow to go that direction. But, yeah, there were other teams that were reportedly interested, but it sounded like Washington was the front runner from the get-go. And so the other teams may not have pursued as hard, knowing that that was probably the final destination. Do we have a number, how much he's going to be making? Um, well, I know this. He made $900,000 at Utah State this season. So times that by three to four, and that's about the ballpark that he's making up there. General idea, you mentioned that at the beginning he only had three players left over when he arrived. What kind of state is he leaving the Aggies in? That's a great question, and we're going to find out soon. I mean, Utah State's going to have to move quickly. Their athletic director, Diana Sabo, she's not even been on the job for a full year yet. This is going to be her biggest decision that she's had to make so far, and she's going to have to move quickly because in the ever-evolving, ever-changing world of college athletics, you can't sit back too long and wait or you will get left behind. So they're going to have to find a new coach quickly. And that new coach is going to have to recruit the current players to stay because when a head coach leaves, those players then are given the option to transfer to another institution if they want. And some of those guys might want to follow Sprinkle to Washington. Sam, thanks for letting us know what's going on. KSL TV sports anchor Sam Farnsworth. It's 320. We have to get to traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Ricky, what's up? Normal KSL travel time southbound I-15 from downtown to Draper and from the point to Provo. But northbound I-15 in Utah County, we do have some traffic filling in and slowing down Pleasant Grove up to Pioneer Crossing in American Fork. All clear on I-215's Belt Route, I-80 and the 201. Steve? Southbound Foothill Drive, uh, getting busy a little bit there between the golf course and 2300 East. Otherwise, no issues on north or southbound 15. Just have normal speeds between downtown Salt Lake and Willard Bay. New crash, though, on uh, westbound Riverdale Road approaching I-84 in Weber County. That's on the right shoulder. Did you know simple maintenance rejuvenates your asphalt roof for 30 to 50% longer? Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at masterroofing.com to schedule your free assessment today. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. 
KSL 7A forecast. We've got highs running 10 below the normal today at 48 with a chance for rain, snow, showers. Tomorrow, same deal, 48 rain, snow, showers, 55 partly cloudy on Wednesday as a quick-moving small high-pressure system moves through Utah. 60 with a chance for showers on Thursday. We'll go 57, mostly cloudy skies on Friday. Upper 50s and cloudy again on Saturday. Easter Sunday, slight chance for showers, but milder at 61. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Your seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We'll check Monday for the markets in just a moment. 46 degrees. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, only on KSL News Radio. You my little boo thing, so I'll give a hoot what you do, say girl, I know. You a little too tight, I'll be shooting that shot like 2K, girl, I know. Tell them, tell them, tell them. Introducing Peach Doors and Windows. Are you ready to upgrade your home with stunning new doors, but you're like me and you're just overwhelmed with how to begin? Well, at Peach, experience the luxury of custom-made doors that are tailored specifically for you. It's not just about looks, it's about durability, it's about security to protect what matters most. Fiberglass, energy-efficient aluminum, custom oversized glass doors, and so much more. Let Peach help you find the perfect match for your home, budget, and of course, your personal style. Visit the showroom. No pushy sales tactics, only guidance from their very experienced staff. No inflated markups just to offer so-called discounts. Amazing home transformations begin with windows and doors. Serving Logan all the way to St. George, just Google Peach Building Products and see it all for yourself. Advertising used to be simple. Your options were radio, TV, newspaper, and let's not forget the yellow pages. Now it seems like a tidal wave of options. Podcast, cable TV, streaming, OTT, CTV, audio network, smart speakers. On top of that, you need digital marketing for your website along with SEM, SEO, display, video, YouTube, email, and all the social media platforms. Look, you're the expert in your business. Wouldn't it be nice to have an expert to market you? We are Bonneville Salt Lake, the local marketing and media company you know and trust. We reach customers across all digital and social platforms and have the reach of traditional advertising available as well. We find your customer anytime, any place, anywhere on any device here in Utah or anywhere in the world. We work to optimize your results with our in-house local team of experts, providing you with qualified leads, not just impressions. Contact Stephanie Palmer at KSL for a free consultation including a complete digital audit with no obligation or cost to you email s palmer at ksl.com that's s palmer at ksl.com we're watching utah's money brought to you by utah first credit union the leaders of boeing are leaving the company the ceo is going to clean out his desk end of the year along with the chairman of the board ceo dave calhoun says it's necessary to rebuild the boeing brand after all the recent fiascos Chick-fil-A is going back on its no antibiotics ever pledge. Now it's going to be no antibiotics sometimes. The chains has supply shortages have forced them to backtrack. Chick-fil-A says instead they're going to avoid the antibiotics that are important in human medicine. The Energy Department has handed $6 billion to help U.S. factories around the U.S. clean up their carbon dioxide emissions. The money is going to help fund 33 different projects. Companies will install high-tech equipment to cut their greenhouse gases. On Wall Street, down day this Monday, the Dow off 162. It closed at 39,313. The S&P was down 15, the Nasdaq down 44 points. Chaos on News Time, 326. A comic actress is fed up with the Hollywood bullies. And she's naming names. Bridesmaids and Pitch Perfect actress Rebel Wilson. I'm the best singer in Tasmania. It's coming out with a new memoir, and over the past few days, she's been teasing it on social media. I worked with a massive In a post over the weekend, she revealed that the is Borat star Sasha Baron Cohen. The two worked together on the film The Brothers Grimsby, and Wilson says she won't be bullied by lawyers or PR people into not talking about it. We don't know exactly what Wilson's claims are, but a spokesperson for Cohen says in a statement the claims are false and they have proof. Jason Nathanson, ABC News, Hollywood. 
If there's a problem during your siding, gutter, or window installation project, most contractors will try to hide it, ignore it, or blame someone else. It's called passing the buck, or turning a blind eye, or my favorite, finger pointing. My question is, where is the accountability? Tim Jr. here from RGS Exteriors, and look, sometimes problems just happen, no matter who you hire. Maybe the wrong color siding gets delivered, despite the order being placed perfectly, or maybe a downspout gets cut short. Honestly, it could be anything. At RGS Exteriors, mistakes are rare, but if something goes wrong, I can absolutely, positively, 100% guarantee you we'll never hide it and we'll never pass the buck. We'll make certain everything turns out right for you. That's people over profits. That's the RGS Exteriors way. For a free estimate on siding, gutters, or windows, call 801-280-3110, rgsexteriors.com, rgsexteriors.com. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Mees. We are starting to see traffic getting busy on some of our main secondaries. It could be either direction of Bangor Highway between California Avenue and 3500 South and then some busy traffic southbound Mountain View approaching 3500 South. But all of your Salt Lake County freeways and I-15 in Utah County are clear and looking good. Steve? Got some slowdowns on southbound Foothill Drive right now between Sunnyside Avenue and 2300 East. Otherwise, a good drive on north or southbound 15 between downtown Salt Lake and Brigham City. Still have a minor wreck in the clearing stages right now. They're loading that up on a tow truck. Uh, Westbound Riverdale Road, that's approaching I-84 and Weaver Canyon on the right shoulder. Flock to IFA Country Stores from March 25th through the 31st to grow your chicks and chickens with backyard specials on everything. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines. We're... (laughs) Rain and snow are expected again tonight. We're not done with this. The overnight low, 33 degrees on the valley floor, will be just above freezing. It's the same deal tomorrow. Scattered rain and snow, the high up to 48. It's finally going to taper off tomorrow night. Wednesday, it's going to be cloudy and dry and 55 degrees. Right now in Ogden, cloudy and 45. In Provo, 43. Down in St. George, partly cloudy, 62 degrees. You're listening to Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good afternoon, 3:30 at KSL. Jeff Kaplan here. 48 in Salt Lake City, KSL's top story. Police have officially charged a man they say is connected to four hit and run accidents in Salt Lake County over the last several months. KSL News Radio's Claire Scott. As the details. On Fam is facing 10 felony charges, including six first degree felony attempted murder charges for what police are calling targeted auto pedestrian crashes. Fam was arrested about two weeks ago after police say they believe he was involved in a hit and run on North Temple that left one woman seriously injured. Video surveillance of the incident shows Fam's vehicle running a red light and hitting a woman as she was walking on the sidewalk. Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill announced the charges against Fam, saying they were able to connect these four incidents together through technology and with the help of several police departments. Claire Scott, KSL News Radio. On the valley floor, you might have seen rain, snow, sleet, hail, but in the mountains, it's been a burst of snow that closed Little Cottonwood Canyon and gave the snowpack a last-minute boost. Better yet, 
There could be more snow coming up there. Last week's warm weather actually melted off some of the water in our snowpack, but this storm added it right back on. While we've already got more than enough snow water than we need for this year, KSL meteorologist Matt Johnson says this is exactly the kind of weather we want to see to have an efficient spring runoff. What it's doing, what these late season storms are doing, is it's helping us to get that slow release of water. That'll first saturate the soil, prepare the grounds for the real snowpack melt, that will be coming off and go straight to the rivers and lakes. Matt says he thinks our snow water supply could grow another inch with mountain snow set to keep falling this week. The average day we usually see our snowpack peak out is just over a week away. Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Utah Highway Patrol says troopers responded to more than 140 crashes since yesterday morning, many of them in the Salt Lake Valley. Troopers are crediting seat belts for keep, keeping people safe in several rollover crashes they responded to. We're told the majority of them were single car crashes where drivers spun out and lost control. Already today, by 3 p.m., we've seen rain, snow, sun, and rain again. Kevin Eubanks says the weather roulette wheel will just keep on spinning. So you'll get sunshine for a little bit, then all of a sudden a little band of rain, some hail, some snow, and this pattern is going to hold through the evening. So we get it in the next five, six hours, a little lull overnight, and then another wave will come through tomorrow during the day and afternoon. Kevin says things are going to get drier on Wednesday. The construction freeze in a small community in Summit County has finally been lifted. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. Oakley has barred all construction with water hookups for the last three years. It's because the area, like much of Utah, struggles with water supply. But now the area is getting a new and deeper well that they hope will sustain the current residents that want to expand and even attract some new ones. However, the city doesn't want a big boom in development. The plan is just to be deliberate and smart, keeping it relatively small. Oakley has around 1,600 residents. A date has been set for former President Trump's hush money trial. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, the former president's hush money case is set for trial April 15th. Mr. Trump slamming the judge's decision, saying there shouldn't be a trial before the 2024 presidential election. I don't know how you can have a trial that's going on right in the middle of an election. Not fair. Not fair. Mr. Trump has indicated he plans to testify at his trial over a hush payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Meantime, Mr. Trump is praising today's decision from an appellate court that ruled he can post a lower bond of $175 million to cover his $464 million civil fraud judgment. I respect the appellate division for substantially reducing that ridiculous amount of money that was put on by a corrupt judge. He says he'll post a bond, securities or cash to cover the $175 million. In breaking news at this hour, federal law enforcement agents have raided two properties owned by Sean Diddy Combs in connection with a sex trafficking investigation. This is a story that is developing at this hour. We'll continue to bring you more information. Florida teenagers could be banned from social media if a new state law holds up to legal challenges. Governor Ron DeSantis today signed a bill that prohibits social media accounts for children under 14. Critics say the law violates the First Amendment, but Florida Speaker of the House Paul Renner says it does not restrict free speech. What we have addressed is the addictive features that are at the heart of why children stay on these platforms for hours and hours on end. Under the new law, parents must provide permission for 15 and 16 year olds to sign up for social media accounts. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 335. Turns out the prescription drug shortage is impacting Utah more than other states. It's according to the Census Bureau. Utah is the second highest state in the nation for people experiencing prescription medication shortages. But Adam Jones, director of the Utah Pharmacy Association, says drugs for ADHD, high blood pressure, and chemo are short everywhere. Sometimes it just comes down to a matter of what's available from our wholesalers within our state um, and what's delivered here more than anything. Jones tells people who have concerns about the availability of their medication to reach out to their pharmacist. He says they might be able to find it at another pharmacy. They may also be able to recommend a generic version if the brand name is not available. Tammy Kikuchi, KSL News Radio. KSL News Time, 335. First look traffic now. Here's Ricky Meese. Pretty quiet out there, even for a Monday. Valley Freeway traffic looking really good. We have had a little bit of heavy and slow traffic southbound on State Street as you go from 114th 
to 123rd South. Ricky Meeson, the KSL Traffic Center. Thanks, Ricky. My minute is on the way next. Stay right here. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawon'twait.com. Good morning. I'm the 40% off window company. 40% off? Of what? Hey, 40% off. Yeah, I'll bet it's your biggest sale of the year. This week only, because you need a model home in our neighborhood. Well... Well, nothing. It's baloney. Hi, this is Kathy. The Doug of Window World. When you hear those things, you know you've entered the baloney zone. Resist the force of the baloney zone. Find Window World online at windowworldutah.com. Or call Window World at 281-8111. That's 281-8111. And that's no baloney. Discover the best of senior living at Trio Orem and Trio South Ogden. Today's older adults aren't wrapping up their life's journey. They're seeking a new one. And Trio Independent Living is here to help them do just that. With a smart, modern, and connected lifestyle, residents cultivate relationships and maximize independence through signature programs like Prime Fit Wellness that bring living well and well-being to life. Welcome to the new age of senior living at Trio. Schedule your visit at leisurecare.com slash Utah today. Bigger stories demand more accountability, more experience, more trust. If it's like an election day or we're expecting some bad weather, KSL presents the story. I'm biased. It's a good local source. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 338. This is my minute of news brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. I've never understood New Orleans. Been there, and everybody said, you got to go to Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. Oh, big surprise. The only thing on the street named after liquor is bars. And when I walked into one to see what this incredible Bourbon Street is all about, it was grimy. I was in stark mortal fear of getting hepatitis C. I touched nothing and got out of there. So when the New Orleans city government revealed last week that even the rats are in on the debauchery, No surprise here. Last week at a city council meeting, police superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick revealed the police headquarters is filthy. Here's what she found. Major rodents uh, on the floor, the cockroaches, the rats eating our marijuana. They're all high. I presume these rats don't have medicinal marijuana cards, so we can assume they are literally party animals. But I was curious upon hearing this. They're all high. Question, how do you know? Are they pounding back the Doritos by the claw load and tearing open bags of Oreos? Well, yes, according to a Johns Hopkins researcher who says rats are just like people consuming cannabis and then binging on sugary, high-fat foods like Oreos while they lay around like furry couch potatoes. But hang on. The researchers point out that if you eat raw marijuana, you don't get high. The devil's chemistry is required only if you apply heat. Do you activate the THC that gets you high? So unless the rats were smoking, they were not stoned. Just lazy from overeating everything in sight. The police commissioner was overstating the case, and it worked. New Orleans City Council approved a brand new police headquarters, and I assume the rats will pack up and move to Bourbon Street. They'll be right at home. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Your traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Well, traffic is moving through Little Cottonwood Canyon again, and that road has been cleared from the snowstorm that came through during the noon hour and just dumped on the canyon. Uh, so we're seeing a better drive there, as well as big at Cottonwood Canyon and in Parley's. On the valley floor, though, we are starting to see traffic building and getting a little busy southbound I-15 at the south interchange. 
and the rest of your Salt Lake County freeways all clear. No problems on I-15 in Utah County. You may see a little bit of busy traffic southbound I-15 rounding the point of the mountain on the way to Lehigh, but overall, pretty good drive in progress. Steve? Salt Lake City PD working a crash right now in the downtown area, 3rd South and 7th West, otherwise northbound 15. Good to go from downtown. Rolling through Davis County with some heavier traffic waiting for you there. Sunset up to Roy. Plus delays in Clinton. This is on northbound 2000 west between 800 and 1800 north. When you choose Performance Automotive in Bountiful, you're choosing selection for locations. Performance Ford Lincoln, Performance Honda, Performance Toyota, and Truck Country. See it all at performancebountiful.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Normal high this date is 58 degrees. We'll only get to 48, 10 below the normal, with a chance for rain and snow showers. Overnight, dipping off to 33 with scattered snow showers. Tomorrow, 48 again with a chance for some rain and snow. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 47 degrees. I have to look outside. It's either cloudy or sunny. It'll change in a minute. Quite the day for former President Trump. In court twice, and we have details. We'll break it down coming up. Stay with us. We're streaming live at KSLnewsradio.com. We're on the KSL News Radio app. This is Utah's news traffic and weather station. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Save thousands on hot tubs and swim spas. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in-stock spas. Utah State Fair Park. Hot tubs discounted 40 to 80% to the lowest possible price. Starting at $29.99. Free professional delivery. Take possession tomorrow, next week, next month, or next season. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Utah State Fair Park. Shop over a dozen models of swim spas from 11 feet to over 19 feet. Swim spas offer low impact exercise, active family fun, unsurpassed relaxation, and installation in one day. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Everything must go. Free parking, free admission. You can't afford to miss this. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in stock spas. Friday, noon to 8 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Utah State Fair Park. Visit HotTubAndSwimSpaSale.com. Give the star in your life the brightest gift in the world. Name a star after them. This is Rocky Moselle with International Star Registry. For $59 and a call to 800-282-3333 or visit StarRegistry.com, you can name a star for birthdays, weddings, or even memorials. Over 45 years, we have named millions of stars for celebrities and individuals from around the world. The star you name will be recorded in book form in the U.S. Copyright Office. Visit StarRegistry.com or call 800-282-3333. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 4-3 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. Wherever you find yourself on the road of life. The freeway blocked because of the jackknife truck trailer. It's better with guidance from the KSL traffic team. It looks like traffic there is starting to move again. Time your commute with traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines. Mornings and afternoons on KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 345. The three things you need to know this hour first. Now on display at the Church History Museum in Salt Lake City, items just bought by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints from the Community of Christ. I'm KSL News Radio's Amy Coben. Second, an apartment fire in Kearns has sent dozens of people running from their homes this afternoon. Fire officials say the blaze could be construction related. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. Lighter than normal on the Valley Freeways with traffic only now starting to build southbound I-15 Murray and Midvale and northbound I-15 approaching Roy on the way to Weber County. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. More spotted rain snow showers today with a high of 48. I'm Matt Johnson. 48 at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Now our top national stories. 
ABC News, I'm Dave Packer. A New York judge said April 15th as the start date for Donald Trump's criminal hush money case in New York. Trump criticizing the timeline is too close to the election, said he would have no problem testifying. Separately, a higher court sent Trump a lifeline, lowering the bond as corporate fraud case while he appeals from $464 million to $175 million and tacking on another 10 days to pay. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu canceling an Israeli delegation's visit to Washington. This after the U.S. did not veto a U.N. Security Council resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and the release of all hostages, White House National Security Communications Advisor John Kirby. Just because this meeting is now not going to happen doesn't mean that we aren't still going to look for uh, an avenue and an approach to be able to share those alternatives with the Israelis. Vladimir Putin today again asserting that Ukraine had something to do with the Moscow Concert Hall terror attack, the death toll, now 139. This is ABC News. And now the in-depth on KSL. The justice system delivered a mixed bag to former President Trump today. First of all, he doesn't have to come up with $464 million, as you've been hearing. Well, joining me live, ABC News legal analyst Royal Oaks and Royal. This ruling is the kind of last-minute drama Trump loves over and over. How did this happen? Well, basically, Trump went to the appellate panel in New York, Jeff, and said, you know, 600, 464 million bucks is way too much. I don't have it, for one thing. And it's wildly excessive compared to the alleged damages that I supposedly caused. And the five judge panel said, you know, uh, we're going to drop it down to 175 million bucks. Now, wouldn't make much difference to me with my net worth, but apparently for Trump, he didn't have the 464, but he's got the 175, so he's kind of dodged a bullet in terms of making sure they don't take his name off the iconic Trump Tower across the street from Central Park. How, how long does he have to come up with 175 large? He's got 10 days, and he said today that he's got the cash, uh, some securities, a bond, some combination of that. So he, he claims that it's all going to be okay. Of course, this is on top of some additional good news he got today, that his Truth Social company is being merged into another company he's affiliated with. They're going to sell the shares publicly on the NASDAQ market next week, and experts say that could boost his net worth by $3 billion. I did mention this is a mixed bag, and there certainly is enough Trump news today. Uh, the trial date has been set for, I believe, his Stormy Daniels trial, and it's coming up quickly. Exactly. So you need a scorecard. There are four criminal cases, and one of them is the Stormy Daniels hush money case. And the theory is that uh, the allegation is that what uh, Trump did was he paid off Stormy Daniels, but in the New York corporate records of Trump company, he put it down as legal fees, which it is alleged was a crime and coupled with his intent to commit some other undefined statute, maybe an election law, that turns it into a felony. And now we know April 15 tax day is the day that trial will start with jury selection April 15. I've heard some say that this is the weakest case against him, the one that matters the least. But if he is convicted, would the penalty be prison time? Yes, he could be sent to prison. Now, the judge might say, I'm going to give you probation. Uh, the judge might say, hey, uh, you're about to be elected possibly president, so we're going to put on hold you reporting to prison. You'll report after your second term if you get one or some combination or compromise of that. We don't know how it's going to play out. All we know for sure is that even if he is convicted, he still has a lawful right to run and theoretically serve in the White House, although you can't be in the White House and in stir at the same time. Interesting times. Thanks a lot, Royal. ABC News legal analyst Royal Oaks figuring it all out. KSL News Time 350. Traffic and weather together were brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky. We have a new accident. It's southbound I-15 about a mile or so prior to SR-92, so near the point of the mountain. And that is what's been causing our slowdowns as you're going from Bluffdale around the point. Uh, it could still be blocking a left lane of traffic. I can't really see it in the traffic cameras. Just be aware of that. Southbound I-15 in Salt Lake County getting busy and slow as you go from the south interchange almost to 90th south. Also, we've had some slower speeds on the transition ramp from eastbound I-80 to go northbound on I-215's west belt. Steve? Right now, Salt Lake City PD still clearing up that wreck uh, on 3rd South between 7th and 8th West. 
Northbound 15 rolling clean and green so far from downtown, rolling into uh, Davis County. Got some thicker traffic there from Sunset up to Roy. Plus delays in Clinton on northbound 2000 West between 800 and 1800 North. Don't miss Park City Gallery Association's monthly gallery stroll through uh, each Friday of every month. Shop, dine, and get inspired by local uh, visitor. Visit ParkCityAssociation.com, supported by Summit County Tax Grants. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast starts out with cold, unstable northwest flow. That means rain, snow, showers today with a high of 48. Tomorrow, 48, same deal, rain, snow, showers. will dry out on Wednesday, partly cloudy, 55. It's short-lived. We got another chance for showers with a high of 60 on Thursday. Mostly cloudy Friday and Saturday, both with highs in the upper 50s. Then 61 for Easter Sunday with a slight chance for some showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. It's 48 degrees. We'll check the markets in just a moment. Stay right here. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, only on KSL News Radio. How'd you like to go to Hawaii, sit by the best swimming pool in America, enjoy a Hawaiian barbecue, saunter down to the breathtaking beach nearby, and keep the kids occupied with awesome activities? Oh, I should mention, you get 40% off the nightly room rate because you live in Utah. The other 49 states pay what they pay, but at Kaloa Landing, there's a 40% discount for us because the owner lives in and loves Utah. Bill Childs made his life here and invites you to his absolutely amazing resort, Kaloa Landing. Kaloa Landing is nestled in the magnificent natural beauty of Kauai, a special place that's part of the exclusive Marriott Autograph Collection. Luxurious studio, one, two, and three bedroom villas with full kitchen and washer dryer. This lush, beautiful property has all the amenities, the activities, even ukulele lessons. And about that pool, it really is the best in America, as voted by USA Today. Kaloa Landing, the website's easy to remember, AlohaUtah.com. That's AlohaUtah.com. Hi, friends. Dan the Laptop Man here from PC Laptops. I get a lot of emails from people all the time. Here's one. Dear Dan, I hear your talk about a lifetime service guarantee. Free? Really? Please help me avoid all your fine print and be honest about what free means. You understand that we should be very wary of a free offer? Signed, Skeptical. Hi, Skeptical. I remember 22 years ago when we started PC Laptops and our lifetime service guarantee, people thought it was too good to be true. Well, you know, after a decade, people started believing me a little bit. But you know, it's been 22 years of having the privilege to serve our friends and neighbors like you. Our lifetime service guarantee has become the most trusted warranty in the industry. You can get a brand new PC Laptops desktop computer and they start at only $29 a month. Check us out at PCLaptops.com. That's PCLaptops.com. Here's to seeing you soon, Skeptical. Believe it or not, it's time for spring cleaning. Beat the spring cleaning rush with big savings and priority booking today. You're not the only one who's tired of winter this year. Your carpets are too. With Zero Res's platinum rated cleaning systems and environmentally friendly ZR water, they'll extract all that nasty out so your home will look and smell like a home should. With their no residue difference, it's what separates Zero Res from the competition. Just check out the 3,300 raving customer reviews online with a 4.8 Google rating and see what the hype is all about. Right now, get one room of carpet cleaning starting at just $25 with a four-room minimum and also take 25% off all other services like air ducts, tile, upholstery, and rugs by using promo code CLEANWEEK to celebrate Utah's Cleaning Week. You owe it to yourself and your family to breathe healthy, happy, and clean. Call Zero Res right now, 801-288-9376 or go online to ZeroRes.com and say you want the Clean Week special. Zero Res, spell it backwards, or forwards. It's the right way to clean. We're watching Utah's money for you. The price of a plane ticket has gone up over the past year. A travel company reports Salt Lake airfares are up 6% from a year ago. But in other big cities around the country, fares are flat to down. Salt Lake City, one of the few hubs to see fares go up in the past 12 months. If you're hitting hitting the road toward California for spring break, be prepared. The average price for unleaded regular in California, $4.09. But wait, if you visit L.A., 
Tank up first, Los Angeles, over 5 bucks a gallon. On Wall Street today, the Dow is down 162 points. It closed at 39.313. The S&P down 15. The NASDAQ down 44 points. KSL News Time 356. Cougar tracks now. Here's KSL Sports BYU insider Mitch Harper. BYU football enters the final week of spring camp this week. The quarterback battle continues, but returning letterman Jake Retzlaff seems to have the edge over Baylor and USF transfer Gary Bohannon. BYU head coach Kalani Satake provided an update on the two quarterbacks vying for the starting job. Jake, he, he knows the offense way better than, than what Gary's done and a lot more comfortable with the way that A-Rod calls it and A-Rod's coached that position. So he's, he's further ahead, but you can see the ability in both those guys and the competition's been really nice for those guys to get after it. And, and you're starting to see a really, a, a really cool bond between the two of them. And then the rest of the room, I mean, the, 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 I've been really pleased with the way the quarterbacks are running the offense. For more BYU football coverage, subscribe to the Cougar Tracks podcast and download the KSL Sports app today. With Cougar Tracks, I'm Mitch Harper on your legacy home of the BYU Cougars, KSL News Radio. You wouldn't know it, but most financial advisors are put in a box. I'm Jeff Jr. from Trajan Wealth, and I want to provide you a little insight about financial advisors. Most financial advisors have to sell what their company requires them to sell, and many advisors have to only adhere to what's called a suitability standard. A suitability standard is a limited standard of care, not requiring what's sold to be best just suitable. Advisors with this loose standard often have limited investment and product selection. Trajan Wealth is held to a fiduciary standard, which is the highest standard of care in the advisory business. And that's just one of the many reasons we have billions of dollars under our care and attract clients from other advisors. Raise your standards today and call Trajan Wealth. Call 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. The last thing you want in the morning <laughs> is more noise. The day's just getting started. Maybe you're feeling a little anxious or overwhelmed, and it's not even 8 yet. So, catching up on important news stories, some sense of weather and traffic, it shouldn't be stressful. Get a wrap on the day ahead from smart, inviting voices who know you're trying to ease in. Do you love a rainy day? I do, actually. I do, too. Tim and Amanda, mornings from 5 to 9. They have you covered on KSL News Radio. Helping you wrap up Monday, it's traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Right now, I'm looking at a live shot of this crash at the point of the mountain southbound I-15 in Bluffdale. Uh, fire crews are blocking off the HOV lane. They're getting ready to pull away right now, and then you'll see most of the vehicles over to the left shoulder. We also have a KSL traffic tro trooper reporting hail coming down in Tooele County and southbound traffic on I-15 in Salt Lake County, heavy and slow, approaching and passing the south interchange. Steve? Nice and easy on northbound 15 from downtown Salt Lake City, rolling into Davis County. Still a bit thick there from Sunset up to Roy. Plus delays in South Weber on northbound 89 now at South Weber Drive, but no problems on 215 on the West Belder Legacy. Same for uh, southbound 89 through Uinta. Spring into performance with Jody Wilkinson's new Acura Integra A-Spec starting at 1.9 APR or lease for 349 monthly. Details, text Acura to 57500. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. So you want some more rain and snow tonight, the overnight low 33. Much the same deal tomorrow, scattered rain, a few flakes, some sunshine. Expect a high of 48 for Tuesday. It's finally going to taper off tomorrow night. It's 359. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good afternoon, 4 o'clock at KSL News Radio. It's 48 degrees, KSL's top story. An apartment building fire in Kearns has led to a complete building evacuation and has left a number of residents unable to return home. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is joining us live from the scene. Eric. Jeff, it was just a block from Kearns High School and the Olympic Oval at Carrington Square Apartments, where residents who were home around 1230 were surprised by emergency responders pounding on their doors to evacuate the building, which is currently undergoing exterior renovation. 
As I arrived and met with residents, some even shoeless being caught off guard, uh, neighbors were lending a helping hand by opening their cars to those without a place to sit and wait for the fire to be put out, which Taylorsville Unified Fire did in about 30 minutes. Property manager Tyler Roundtree told me it was members of the roofing company they subcontracted out that discovered the fire. The roofing company, from what I understand, is actually the ones that noticed when they got up there that the roof was really hot. And when they, when they lifted a board, they noticed the smoke came out, so immediately notified emergency services. Roundtree said they're working with the four units that can't return home tonight. Uh, and Red Cross Utah is also stepping up to make sure those residents and their families will have a place to stay until they get the green light to go home. Authorities are still investigating the cause of the fire, which they say will take a few days, but Kelly Bird with the fire department said they suspect it might be construction related. Reporting from Kearns, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. The family of a woman who died riding an e-scooter in downtown Salt Lake is calling on city officials to repair the sidewalks. 33-year-old Ashley Rose Peck was riding with friends when she hit a buckled stretch of sidewalk and hit her head. Her cousin, Emilio Gonzalez, tells KSL-TV, sidewalks downtown need to be fixed so this type of accident doesn't happen again. The Salt Lake City Mayor's Office tells KSL they're reviewing the accident. Significant artifacts are now on display in Salt Lake City after the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints bought them from the Community of Christ. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobabe got a look at these historic items this morning. The museum has several items filling an entire room, including letters between Joseph and Emma Smith, their original portraits, and the original door at Liberty Jail. The curator says it's all about preserving these items while still letting people come see them and learn about the history. The display will continue through October. KSL News Time 403, another abortion bill is before the nation's highest court. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, the U.S. Supreme Court will be considering whether states can ban the abortion pill Mifepristone. It's the first abortion case before the Supreme Court since it overturned Roe v. Wade two years ago. Veronica Faison is a nonprofit gender justice lawyer in Washington, D.C. It makes me deeply fearful. I think that Pill access, self-managing your abortion is something that everyone should be entitled to. The drug may face restrictions on being mailed to patients nationwide if the justices roll back access. The White House says it's disappointed with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's decision to cancel an Israeli delegation's visit to Washington. Netanyahu canceled the meeting after the U.S. refused to block a U.N. resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. National Security Advisor John Kirby says the administration is perplexed by Netanyahu's claim that the U.S. has changed its position. We've been very clear, we've been very consistent in our support for a ceasefire as part of a hostage deal. This week's meeting was to focus on Israel's plans for a ground assault in Rafah, where more than a million civilians are taking refuge in war-torn Gaza. Haiti remains mired in turmoil. Gangs are still roaming the streets, and gunfire is heard, especially in the capital of Port-au-Prince. The international airport also remains closed, but today some Haitians managed to fly out from a regional Haitian airport and fly to safety in Miami. It's very, very, very bad. Very scary. A transitional presidential council that is supposed to choose a new leader has yet to be sworn in. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Chalais, KSL News Radio. Tax day is quickly approaching. The CEO of the Utah Association of CPAs, Susan Spears, says no matter how much money you make, there may be deductions you're forgetting to take. To your point, we just think, huh, I don't make a lot of money. I don't have enough to itemize. And we just default standard deduction, but we forget about some of these little things. She says including small deductions like student loan interest and self-employment health care will start to add up. Utah State's head basketball coach is leaving the Aggies. He's taking a head coaching job with the Washington Huskies. Here's KSL-TV sports anchor Sam Farnsworth. He did something that no other coach in college basketball has done before. He came to Utah State with only three players remaining from the previous team's roster. He brought in 13 new faces, basically all these guys who had never played before, and they go on to win 28 games, they go on to win the regular season Mountain West title, and they win a game at the NCAA tournament, and that had the attention of all the other coaches in the country, all the other athletic departments in the country, and suddenly he quickly rose to the top 
of everyone's want list. Sam says that at Washington, Dan Sprinkle will make eh, three, four million a year. Chaos on News Time 406, first look traffic. What you got, Ricky? We've got some problems out there. Uh, we have a crash at the point of the mountains, southbound I-15. And then we have a KSL traffic trooper uh, giving us a heads up about this crash in Murray. 4,500 south at State Street, you will see some lanes blocked and you will see backups in most directions. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. My minute is on the way next. Stay right here. Do you know the secret to losing up to one pound of fat every day? At slcfatloss.com, we know the secret. Our unique weight loss program makes it easy to lose weight, get healthy, and get your energy back naturally, safely, and effectively. If you'd like to lose unhealthy fat without counting points, no exercising, no prepackaged meals, no surgery, and no injections with the risk of serious side effects, go to slcfatloss.com now to schedule your free consultation in person or virtually. This is Maria Shaleos. If you're done being exhausted with the same old stubborn weight problem, Salt Lake City Fat Loss has the answer. I've lost 25 pounds in 60 days. Check out this remarkable program for yourself in person or virtually, slcfatloss.com. Many clients lose 20 to 30 pounds in about a month or two. That's up to a pound per day. For your free private weight loss consultation, call 801-450-1882 or go to slcfatloss.com. That's slcfatloss.com. Results may vary. Derek Overstreet, founder of the New Millennium Group. We're a financial planning firm. Listen, we're fiduciaries. We have advisors standing by right now to take your call. That's 888-999-6370. 888-999-6370. The reason you're going to want to call is we're going to help you retire three to five years before you thought possible. Now, imagine how that would be if you could actually retire three to five years sooner than your plan was. The way we do this is by putting together a step-by-step -step plan, taking into consideration any rental properties that you have, any pension income that you have, your social security. Listen, we put that all together for you in writing. It will allow us to, to build your income based on inflation. You know, inflation has been rapidly rising. You and I both need a plan plan that whatever we start out our income at, in five or 10 years, we're going to need 40% more income. So if you're one of those people listening and you'd like a plan in writing, give us a call at 888-999-6370. That's 888-999-6370 or go to utahsfinancialplanner.com. Any hour services can help unclog any drain in your house. Whether you have a backup, a clog, or a slow drain you want fixed, call Any Hour Services or visit anyhourservices.com. This is my minute of news brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. I've never understood New Orleans. Been there, and everybody said, you got to go to Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. Oh, big surprise. The only thing on the street named after liquor is bars. And when I walked into one to see what this incredible Bourbon Street is all about, it was grimy. I was in stark mortal fear of getting hepatitis C. I touched nothing and got out of there. So when the New Orleans city government revealed last week that even the rats are in on the debauchery, no surprise here. Last week at a city council meeting, police superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick revealed the police headquarters is filthy. Here's what she found. Major rodents yeah. uh, on the floor, the cockroaches, the rats eating our marijuana. They're all high. I presume these rats don't have medicinal marijuana cards, so we can assume they are literally party animals. But I was curious upon hearing this. They're all high. Question, how do you know? Are they pounding back the Doritos by the claw load and tearing open bags of Oreos? Well... Yes, according to a Johns Hopkins researcher who says rats are just like people consuming cannabis and then binging on sugary, high-fat foods like Oreos while they lay around like furry couch potatoes. But hang on. The researchers point out that if you eat raw marijuana, you don't get high. The devil's chemistry is required only if you apply heat. Do you activate the THC that gets you high? So unless the rats were smoking, they were not stoned. Just lazy from overeating everything in sight. The police commissioner was overstating the case, and it worked. New Orleans City Council approved a brand new police headquarters, and I assume the rats will pack up and move to Bourbon Street. They'll be right at home. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. A KSL traffic trooper letting us know about the crash at 4500 South and State Street. You do have some lanes blocked and you will see backups in all directions. Southbound I-15 traffic filling in and slowing down between 53rd and 7200 South. But we're looking good on the rest of your Salt Lake County freeways. Mark? 
Yeah, it looks like uh, KSL Trap Trooper Mark checking in southbound I-15 point of the mountain with a crash. Now, the fire truck has since left the scene as far against that left wall as it can be, but please give that clearing crash some room if you can. Sluggish volume, they're heading into Lehigh. No problems northbound other side between Payson and point of the mountain. Steve. Looks like good speeds on northbound 15 this afternoon so far as you leave downtown, rolling into uh, Davis and Weaver counties. Uh, same thing for the southbound side. Uh, delays, though, on northbound 89, filling in at South Weaver Drive, but no problems on 215 or the uh, Legacy Parkway between I-80 and Park Lane in Farmington. Southbound 89 in Uinta, rolling clean and green down the hill there to I-84. Discover the power of hands-on learning at Tooele Technical College with affordable, flexible, and achievable technical education. Your future begins here. Apply today at tooeletech.edu. That's tooeletech.edu. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Normal high this date is 58 degrees. We'll only get to 48, 10 below the normal, with a chance for rain and snow showers. Overnight, dipping off to 33 with scattered snow showers. Tomorrow, 48 again, with a chance for some rain and snow. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. It's 48 degrees in Salt Lake City on the way on KSL News Radio. Church artifacts that came along with the Kirtland Temple are now on display in Salt Lake City. We're going to take a look for you in just a few moments. Stay with us. We're streaming live at kslnewsradio.com. We're on the KSL News Radio app. This is Utah's news traffic and weather station. Everyone's house is different, but they're all the same in one way. They've all got those places where the Wi-Fi just won't go. For you, maybe it's the attic. For me, it's my basement. Well, if you had wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you could worry less about the dead spots. Finally, with wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity, you get fast speeds throughout your home, a reliable connection in every room, and power for all your devices, even when everyone's online. That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi only on the Xfinity 10G network. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity for a reliable connection throughout your home. Now through June 21st, new customers can get started with gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Get rid of those dead spots. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, that's 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Believe it or not, it's time for spring cleaning. Beat the spring cleaning rush with big savings and priority booking today. You're not the only one who's tired of winter this year. Your carpets are too. With Zero Res's platinum rated cleaning systems and environmentally friendly ZR water, they'll extract all that nasty out so your home will look and smell like a home should. With their no residue difference, it's what separates Zero Res from the competition. Just check out the 3,300 raving customer reviews online with a 4.8 Google rating and see what the hype is all about right now get one room of carpet cleaning starting at just $25 with a four room minimum and also take 25% off all other services like air ducts tile upholstery and rugs by using promo code clean week to celebrate Utah's cleaning week you owe it to yourself and your family to breathe healthy happy and clean call zero res right now 801-288-9376 or go online to zero res.com and say you want the clean week special zero res spell it backwards or forwards it's the right Right way to clean. Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon, or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 415. The three things you need to know this hour first. This late winter weather is giving our snowpack a last minute boost before spring runoff, and we're not done yet. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, Homeland Security has raided the homes of Diddy Combs in Florida and California. It's part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation involving Diddy. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. A crash in the Draper Bluffdale area. This is at the ramp to southbound I-15 at 146 South. You'll see that at least a right lane is blocked. Uh, you're going to have a little bit of a difficult time getting around this accident at the top of that ramp to I-15. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. More scattered valley rain and mountain and snow. I'm Kevin Eubank. It's 48 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios now. Our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Chuck Sieverton. 
Tensions higher between Israel and the U.S. after Israel's prime minister cancels a meeting in Washington to discuss the war in Gaza. ABC's Andy Field in the Capitol. Israel now accusing the U.S. of wavering support for their right to go after Hamas that attacked Israel after the U.S. refused to block a U.N. resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire. The prime minister's office seems to be indicating through public statements that we somehow changed here. We haven't. National Security spokesman John Kirby insists that the president supports Israel and wants to eliminate Hamas, but that they disagree on the number of civilians being killed in the crossfire. Trump lawyers motion to delay the criminal trial of former President Trump for hush money payments to a porn star and alleged election interference denied by a federal judge in New York, Mr. Trump. They could have started this when I left office. You could have gone back three years, more than that. When I left office, all of these things could have been started so we wouldn't be quibbling over starting this week or that week or two days or three days. It wouldn't have mattered. This would have been over two years ago. The ex-chief executive was in New York where jury selections to start April 15th. Stepping down following several high-profile accidents with Boeing aircraft, the head of the aircraft company, David Calhoun. Board chair Larry Kellner also announcing he will not seek re-election. Still blaming Ukraine for last Friday's deadly terrorist attack in a Moscow concert hall, Russian President Vladimir Putin. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller. There was no Ukrainian involvement, period. You've seen the Ukrainian government make that clear. And of course, uh, with respect to these statements, the Russians have offered zero evidence because there is no evidence uh, of Ukrainian uh, involvement. Law enforcement sources tell TMZ that agents for the Federal Department of Homeland Security are in the middle of raiding the Beverly Hills and Miami homes of music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. No word if he is there. You're listening to ABC News. And time for the KSL In-Depth on a completely different topic. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is putting newly acquired artifacts on display at the Church History Museum. The items were owned by the Community of Christ and were recently purchased along with the Kirtland Temple. Historian with the Church History Department, Spencer McBride, says these documents humanize the church's history. As a historian, the most important thing is that they are preserved. No matter who's preserving and caring for them, let these records be cared for so they can last for generations and generations. The Community of Christ has done a magnificent job of of taking care of them. It's now our turn. It's now our turn to make sure they are preserved, conserved, and shared, that people have access to them. Um, but, But there's something really exciting about the physical documents. When you hold them, or in this case, see them, um, it's almost a record of real people doing real things. These are people who sought a closer connection with God, and they sought it through the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and this is them expressing their experience, recording their experience. And, And so it's something that I think people today can connect with. And even though these these documents have been available online through the Joseph Smith Papers, to actually come to the museum and to see them yourself, there's something really really exciting and meaningful about that experience. The Church History Museum will have the artifacts on display through October. They include personal letters from Joseph and Emma Smith and their original portraits. You've been listening to the In-Depth of 15 and 45. Now, traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Slowdown's really setting in now. Scattered in spots southbound I-15 between 53rd South and the Point of the Mountain. Now, part of that is an accident in the Draper Bluffdale area. An accident at the top of the on-ramp to southbound I-15 at 146 South. They've been blocking traffic. Now, we also have a crash 4500 South and State Street in Murray. And traffic getting a little busy in spots westbound on the 201 between I-15 and the West Belt. Mark? You got more delays headed southbound to Point of the Mountain because just after Point of the Mountain and prior to SR 92, you have a wreck that is clearing. Should be clear in a few minutes, but you got extra slowdowns heading into Lehigh. Rest of the trip, I 15 in Utah County is good. Out west, just the usual spotty bits of volume slow down through West Valley on the big three, Mountain View 5600 West and Bangor. Steve. Right now, an easy drive on North 15 from downtown, rolling at the full speed limit into Davis County. Also, Weber County looking good. Delays, though, northbound Highway 89 at South Weaver Drive to I-84. No problems on 215's West Belt or Legacy so far. 
Monster winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at MasterRoofingUtah.com to schedule your free windstorm assessment today. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. And look at this. The clouds part, the sun comes out as Kevin Eubank walks into the room. Nice work. Well, enjoy the next five minutes, Jeff, because we know that's all it takes before it changes. It's been weather roulette. You said it earlier. In fact, it just gets a little bit of everything. We've had wind and rain and hail and snow, and it's just been the last couple of hours. So we're going to continue to see some scattered showers over the next 24 hours as we continue to be in a northwesterly flow and these little pieces go by. So tonight, a little bit of a lull. Temperatures will be in the mid-30s. But as we head through the very early morning hours tomorrow, we're going to see a resurgence of that uh, precipitation. A little valley rain mixing with some snow, potentially impacting the morning commute. Highs will stop in the upper 40s. We'll really get a break on Wednesday. Partly cloudy, dry, high of 53. But another little wave comes by Thursday. More valley rain and mountain snow with highs in the 50s. Now, here's the kicker. As we head to Easter Sunday, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies Friday and Saturday. Temperatures get back to the low 60s. But Easter Sunday, chance for some valley rain and mountain snow with a high of 61. Would you have any idea of the weekend forecast for Little Sahara by any chance? Yeah, there's a chance for some scattered showers. And again, we know how many people are going there. Like 50,000. There will be a chance for a little bit of rainfall, so just be aware. All right, thanks a lot, Kevin Eubank right now, 48 in Salt Lake City. KSL News Time, 422. Well, hello, it's me again. And like me, I'll bet you're ready for spring in a little green lawn again. I've got a tip. Don't spend a fortune hiring a lawn care company. Save some money and do it yourself. And here's how. Go to J&J Garden Center in Layton and purchase their simple, color-coded five-step fertilizer system that covers up to 10,000 square feet and will rejuvenate your lawn for just $199.98. And nobody beats J&J's price. So for a lush, healthy, green lawn, Come and try j and Garden Center's five-step fertilizer system. I promise you won't regret it. Take the Leighton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then with two miles, you've got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, j and Garden Center. Rejuvenate your lawn with the simple five-step fertilizer system from j and Garden Center in Leighton. Good morning. I'm the 40% off window company. 40% off? Of what? Hey, 40% off. Yeah, I'll bet it's your biggest sale of the year. This week only because you need a model home in our neighborhood. Well... Well, nothing. It's baloney. Hi, this is Kathy. And Doug of Window World. When you hear those things, you know you've entered the baloney zone. Resist the force of the baloney zone. Find Window World online at windowworldutah.com. Or call Window World at 281-8111. That's 281-8111. And that's no baloney. See the high-flying dunks, show-stopping blocks, and crowd-silencing threes at Delta Center this season. With an action-packed schedule, it's easy to get to a jazz game, pick out an unmissable matchup, or just a tip-off time that works for you. It's time to put on your jazz gear and head to the game. Come with a friend, a loved one, or as a group. See all available tickets and options at utahjazz.com or call or text 801-355-DUNK. Common Spirit Health. Hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Health care with human kindness is here. Hello, human kindness. Wherever you find yourself on the road of life. The freeway blocked because of the jackknife truck trailer. It's better with guidance from the KSL traffic team. It looks like traffic there is starting to move again. Time your commute with traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines. Mornings and afternoons on KSL News Radio. We're watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. Truth Social will begin trading on Wall Street tomorrow morning. Stock symbol DJT, as in Donald J. Trump, who stands to make $3 billion tomorrow. Money he can't touch for six months, as per the company's board of directors. A BYU student startup has won the $30,000 grand prize from the Utah Entrepreneurs Challenge. Their startup product, Powder Baby Dry Shampoo, marketed as healthy, non-aerosol, non-wet, a hair cleaning product. A big victory for the Center for Countering Digital Hate. It's also a loss for Elon Musk. Here, 
His lawsuit against the group has been thrown out of court. Musk claims they organized a campaign to scare away Twitter advertisers. The federal judge ruled they were exercising their right to free speech. On Wall Street, the Dow is down 162 points. The S&P also fell down 15. The Nasdaq down 44 points. A Tennessee company violated child labor laws, and this is just one example of a growing trend. The Department of Labor says there's an alarming increase in child labor violations, and it investigated nearly a 1,000 cases last year. A Tennessee company that manufactures components for John Deere and Yamaha used child labor, and under a consent judgment will give back $1.5 million of profit and pay the government nearly $300,000 in fines. The Department of Labor said tough torques subjected 10 children to oppressive child labor, they'll be compensated with those returned profits. Brian Clark, ABC News. When news happens in Utah, find out first. Sign up for breaking news alerts from KSL. Here's what you do. Text the word CASH to 57500. And you know what? You could win $250 cash from KSL on April 1st. Tim Jr. here from RGS Exteriors. And did you know that we get a bunch of service calls per year? From people who didn't even hire us? That means they originally hired someone else to replace their siding, gutters, and windows. Then later, when a problem popped up, they tried to call their contractor back to fix it, only to find out that the contractor has ceased to exist. They're gone, done, out of business. At RGS Exteriors, we've been serving Utah for 70 years. As a fifth generation owned contractor, we've got customers who are the grandkids of our customers we had in the 1950s and 60s. We're not going anywhere. We will be here when you need us, period. For siding, gutters, and windows, now and forever, call RGS Exteriors at 801-280-3110 or visit at rgsexteriors.com. That's 801-280-3110 or rgsexteriors.com. It's easy to think all money managers are pretty much the same. But at Fisher Investments, we're clearly different. Different? How? You sell high-commission investment products, right? No. Fisher Investments doesn't sell any commission-based investment products. Well, you must earn commissions on trades. Nope. Never at Fisher. We're a fiduciary obligated to act in our client's best interest. It's the highest standard of care for a financial advisor. How do you know what's in their best interest? We get to know our clients and then tailor a portfolio based on their goals and needs. But you probably sneak in some hidden and layered fees. No. We have one transparent management fee, structured so we do better when our clients do better. Wow, you really do look out for your clients. That's because our top priority is helping them achieve a comfortable retirement. It might be why most of our clients come from other money managers. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you switch to us. Fisher Investments. Clearly different money management. Investments and securities involve the risk of loss. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes were brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Scanners calling out a report of a possible accident on the ramp. I-215's West Belt at 3500 South. Also at that ramp is a crash in Draper. It's at the top of the on-ramp to southbound I-15 at 146 South. And then we also have heavy and slow traffic southbound I-15 Murray through Draper. Mark? Yeah, you got an incident management team on scene on southbound I-15. Now, this has been lingering a crash here uh, just prior to SR-92, just after Point of the Mountain. So you're slow there. I-15, the rest of the way in Utah County is in pretty good shape. Steve? All clear if you're on northbound 15 as you leave downtown Salt Lake City, rolling through Davis, Weber, and Box Elder County so far this afternoon. We have delays on northbound 89 just past uh, SR-193 approaching I-84, but all clear on 215 and the Legacy Parkway. Baby Animal Days at America West Heritage Center in Logan, March 28th through April 6th. Visit awhc.org, Baby Animal Day. Join them for springtime. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Well, the day's been a bit mixed with partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies. We'll get a rain shower moving through here and there with mountain snow continuing. We'll continue to see these scattered showers overnight and into the day on Tuesday. Look for a low of 34 with an afternoon high of 49. Partly cloudy on Wednesday with 53 degrees. Then another weak storm comes through Thursday. More valley rain and mountain snow. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. You're listening to Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good afternoon, 4:30 at KSL. Jeff Kaplan here. It's 48 degrees. KSL's top story. 
Salt Lake City police have charged the man they say intentionally crashed into pedestrians before driving away. KSL News Radio's Claire Scott with the story. The charges against On Fam claim he hit several female pedestrians intentionally. Prosecutors say Fam was homeless and living out of his car and had targeted women walking down the sidewalk. Fam was arrested about two weeks ago after police say he hit a woman at North Temple, leaving her seriously injured. Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill says Fam is tied to four hit and runs in the last seven months. Fam is facing 10 felony charges, several of which are for attempted murder. Claire Scott, KSL News Radio. The recent burst of late winter weather is not. Not only giving our snowpack a boost before spring, it could also set us up to keep more of that water during the summer. KSL News Radio's Adam Small here. To put it all in context, we already have more than enough water that we need for the year in our current snowpack, so any snow that falls now is just frosting on the cake. However, KSL meteorologist Matt Johnson says this rain and snow is helping to saturate the ground, so when spring runoff starts, that first batch of water is going to run into our lakes and reservoirs from the get-go instead of getting sucked into the dry ground like it did last year. And with more mountain snow falling this week, Matt says that snow water number is just going to keep rising. Based on historical data, our snowpack will likely peak sometime next week. Unfortunately, this weekend's snow wasn't great for everyone's snowpack. Nordic Valley Ski Resort has announced it's officially closed. They say it's because the torrential rain took a heavy hit on their snowpack. Yesterday was the last day of operations this season at Nordic Valley. Today's off and on rain, snow, slush, sun, all of it will be the norm this week. The new norm, Kevin Eubank says, For the rest of the afternoon, for instance, the drive home will be dry, depending on where you're driving. Utah County's been getting snow and rain, and then Salt Lake will get some sunshine, and then Weber Ogden will get some rain and snow. So it's very depending on where you're driving, and it's going to be the same this afternoon. Uh, Just plan on hit and miss showers throughout the day today into tomorrow and cool temperatures. Kevin says the rounds of valley rain and mountain snow will continue to Easter Sunday. A small Utah city just west of Park City now has enough water to start growing again. Oakley is the home of almost 1,600 people, according to the latest census data, and it hasn't been able to grow very much over the past three years because of a building freeze. City planner Stephanie Wollstenholm says the town, much like the rest of the state, has trouble with water supply, but it will soon be much easier to maintain residents. We've been able to drill a new well, and though it's not fully operational yet, it will be by the time any development would take place in the near future. Wilson Home says they don't expect or even want the town to get huge. They just want to see some new families and maintain the old ones. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. A New York judge is refusing to delay former President Trump's hush money trial. Maria Chaleos is live at the KSL National News Desk. Jeff, the judge setting a trial date of April 15th. The Mr. Trump slamming the decision as completely unfair, telling reporters he plans to fight the decision. I don't know if we're having one. We're going to be appealing right now, I can tell you that. Meantime, the former president is praising today's decision from an appellate court that ruled that he can post a lower bond of $175 million to cover his $464 million civil fraud judgment. But- I respect the appellate division for substantially reducing that ridiculous amount of money that was put on by a corrupt judge. He says he will post a bond to cover the $175 million. Federal law enforcement agents raided two properties owned by Sean Diddy Coombs this afternoon. The raids in connection with a sex trafficking investigation. Homeland Security confirming that the raids took place in Los Angeles and Miami. And the U.S. is pushing back against Russia's claims that Ukraine is to blame for the deadly mass shooting in Moscow Friday night. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre defending Ukraine. Look, it is there is absolutely no evidence that the government of Ukraine had anything to do with this attack. ISIS has claimed responsibility for the attack. Live from the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. If you're having trouble getting your prescriptions filled, KSL News Radio's Tammy Kikuchi reports you're not alone. The U.S. Census Bureau says Utah has the second highest rate of people among the 50 states reporting a prescription drug shortage. The Utah Pharmacy Association is keeping an eye on the situation and recommends people ask their pharmacists to check with other pharmacies to see if their medication is available. It's also recommended for people to ask about generics in place of name brand medications. The biggest shortages are for ADHD, cancer, and high blood pressure drugs. An estimated 400,000 Utahns are struggling to fill their prescriptions. KSL News Time 435. 
It's time for First Look Traffic, Monday afternoon. And, Ricky, how do we look? We've got some problems out there. A crash at the point of the mountain on southbound I-15 over to the left and a crash at the top of the on-ramp to southbound I-15 at 146 south blocking traffic. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Thanks, Ricky. My minute is on the way next. Stay right here. Devotion to country, service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican, Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Oren Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, deeply committed to religious liberty, rock-solid Utah conservative. Brent Oren Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us A lot of you already know that when it comes to HVAC maintenance, repair, and replacement, no one helps more homeowners than any hour services. And if you've been thinking about replacing your old furnace and air conditioner, this ad's for you. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and right now we're having our most popular sale of the year. Here's how it works. When you have Any Hour Services install a new air conditioner, we'll give you a new furnace for just the cost to install it, about 400 bucks. The furnace is free, you just pay the labor. One of the reasons this sale is so popular, there are no gimmicks. Like, you have to buy our most expensive air conditioner to qualify for a free furnace. You could buy our most basic, least expensive air conditioner, and you'd still get a new furnace for just the cost to install it. All you have to do is call Any Hour Services by March 31st and schedule a free estimate. One of our HVAC supervisors will come to your home and explain everything. If you think you might be interested, call Any Hour Services today and schedule your free estimate. 801-443-7400. You can Google Any Hour Services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. A legacy of news and information going back generations. I'll have the radio on. I learned that from my mom. She's listened to KSL her whole life, and I grew up listening to KSL radio, too. I really enjoy listening in the morning. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. This is My Minute of News, brought to you by Any Hour Services, Electrical Plumbing, Heating, and Air, AnyHourServices.com. As we head into the heart of the presidential campaign, I want to tell you about a scientific discovery of a new species of fish. It's a freshwater fish that swims in the streams of Southeast Asia. Ichthyologists were shocked to find this fish the size of a fingernail much to their surprise, makes noise. The fish is called Danianella cerebrum. Danianella cerebrum, and you don't want it in your home aquarium. The noise that this little Danianella cerebrum makes, if you're nearby, is as loud as a jackhammer. 140 decibels, about the same as an ambulance siren. Sometimes the littlest things make the biggest noise, a bullet. A bullet is only about this big. When you fire a 22, the noise is about the same as this fish, about 140 decibels. So you want to hear this slender little half-inch thingamabob? Listen. Scientists say this fish has a muscle that never fatigues and it rubs against the ribs. Sort of like a baseball card snapping against bicycle spokes. And as we head into political season, I'd like you to remember, like Danielella Cerebrum, sometimes the littlest people make the loudest noise. Of which, there's been plenty so far. You can't love your country only when you win. Two nights ago, we all heard Crooked Joe's angry, dark, hate-filled rant. Didn't it bring us together? Remember, he said, I'm going to bring the country to, 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 uh, together. I say, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. So going forward, remember, if you hear a lot of noise and something seems fishy, protect your ears. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Lend me yours for traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Slow down southbound I-15 from 53rd South Murray all the way to 146 South, almost to the point of the mountain. And we do have that crash at the top of the on-ramp to southbound at 146 South blocking traffic. Northbound I-15, a little busy, uh, maybe dipping below the freeway limit in spots as you go northbound I-15 from 2100 South to the 6 South exit. 
delay free on the rest of your Salt Lake County freeways, Mark. Well, because the folks behind you are stuck in Bluffdale, south end of the valley on that problem there at 146 South. The rest of the trip into Utah County on I-15 southbound has cleared Point of the Mountain and down to Provo. You're in pretty good shape. KSL travel time between Lehigh and Provo is back to 10 minutes. On the west side, it's been pretty good, save for a little bit of usual sluggish volume for the rush hour through West Valley on the big three. Steve. Northbound 15 starting to fill in just a bit now at 2300 North Warm Springs Road as you roll into a North Salt Lake. After that, good speeds all the way to Willard Bay. Northbound 89 is still a bit thick there from uh, SR 193 up to I-84. Zebra Res, get one room clean starting at just $25 with a four-room minimum and 25% off all other services. Use promo code CLEANWEEK. Zebra Res. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Our stormy pattern continues, although a little bit of a lull this afternoon. We'll see partly cloudy skies for the next few hours. Overnight, though, the lows will be in the 30s, and we'll see another round of precipitation move through on Tuesday. More scattered valley rain with mountain snow and a high of 49. Partly cloudy, a little drier on Wednesday, high of 53. And then another round of valley rain comes through on Thursday with a high of 59. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. And right now in Salt Lake City, your temperature reading is 48 degrees. Sunshine for the moment downtown. We're streaming live at KSLnewsradio.com. We're on the KSL News Radio app. This is Utah's news traffic and weather station. Does your home need a dog door, or maybe a door for the cat? Advanced window products can create a custom pet door built into your sliding glass door. And if you mention this ad, yeah, I heard it on KSL, you get free installation. And if your home needs new windows and frames, you want to call Advanced Window Products right now. This month, they'll give you $2,500 off on 10 windows or more. Plus, you'll get on the schedule before the spring rush. They book up because they custom build the highest quality frames and double pane windows, and they do it right here in Utah. Their experts have been creating and installing beautiful frames and windows for 38 years. And because there's no middleman markup, you get the best quality at a great price. At Advanced Window Products, they offer 0% financing. They have buy now, pay later. They even have high-quality Gerber window coverings at the best pricing in the state. Call Advanced Window Products right now, 801-850-9100. That's 801-850-9100, or visit advancedwindowsusa.com. Three days only, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Save thousands on hot tubs and swim spas. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in-stock spas. Utah State Fair Park. Hot tubs discounted 40 to 80% to the lowest possible price, starting at $29.99. Free professional delivery. Take possession tomorrow, next week, next month, or next season. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Utah State Fair Park. Shop over a dozen models of swim spas from 11 feet to over 19 feet. Swim spas offer low-impact exercise, active family fun, unsurpassed relaxation, and installation in one day. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Everything must go. Free parking, free admission. You can't afford to miss this. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in-stock spas. Friday, noon to 8 p.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Utah State Fair Park. Visit hot tub and swim spa sale.com. Believe it or not, it's time for spring cleaning. Beat the spring cleaning rush with big savings and priority booking today. You're not the only one who's tired of winter this year. Your carpets are too. With Zero Res's platinum rated cleaning systems and environmentally friendly ZR water, they'll extract all that nasty out so your home will look and smell like a home should. With their no residue difference, it's what separates Zero Res from the competition. Just check out the 3,300 raving customer reviews online with a 4.8 Google rating and see what the hype is all about. Right now, get one room of carpet cleaning starting at just $25 with a four-room minimum. And also take 25% off all other services like air ducts, tile, upholstery, and rugs by using promo code CLEANWEEK to celebrate Utah's Cleaning Week. You owe it to yourself and your family to breathe healthy, happy, and clean. Call Zero Res right now, 801-288-9376. Or go online to ZeroRes.com and say you want the Clean Week special. Zero Res. Spell it backwards or forwards. It's the right way to clean wherever you find yourself on the road of life the freeway blocked because of the jackknife truck trailer it's better with guidance from the ksl traffic team it looks like traffic there is starting to move again time your commute with traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines mornings and afternoons on ksl news radio 
Thanks for listening. KSL News Time 445. The three things you need to know this hour first. The building freeze in Oakley, Utah has been lifted after three years in a brand new well. I'm KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla. Second, USU's head basketball coach Danny Sprinkle is report leaving the team. He's taking the head coaching job with the Washington Huskies. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spawn. A long, slow drive. It's southbound I-15 from Murray to the point of the mountain. You actually have a good drive on I-15 in Utah County, but getting into Davis County, it's a little heavy and slow. Northbound I-15 from 6 North to the North Interchange. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Scattered showers continue with below normal temperatures. I'm Kevin Eubank. 48 degrees of the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios now. Our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Chuck Sievertson. Irritation between the U.S. and Israel over Gaza and the U.S. calls against Israel's intention for a ground operation in southern Gaza because it could kill more innocent civilians. White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby. The Prime Minister's office seems to be indicating through public statements that we somehow changed here. We haven't. And it's about the U.S. refusing to block a U.N. resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire. A federal judge in New York's denied a motion to delay the hush money to a porn star alleged election interference trial of Donald Trump, former president in New York. I don't know how you can have a trial that's going on right in the middle of an election. Not fair. Not fair. And the highest paid player in sports history, the Dodgers' Shohei Otani, talking to the media amid illegal gambling and theft allegations against his interpreter. I'm just beyond shocked. It's really hard to uh, verbalize how I am feeling at this point. A, a translator. This is ABC News. And now the KSL in-depth. Tomorrow, the Supreme Court is hearing its first case on abortion since they overturned Roe v. Wade. Uh, they're going to consider rolling back availability of the abortion pill. Mephipristone joining me live, KSL at Nights, Taylor Morgan. So, Taylor, first of all, who's bringing this case to court? Well, the court is considering this case, Jeff. This is being brought by a number of plaintiffs suing for accessibility, uh, as you said, of Mephipristone. This is the only drug that has been approved specifically for terminating pregnancies. And the lawsuit is over whether or not the government actually applied a lawful review process of the drug when it first came out. That is the challenge. Of course, certainly this is a follow uh, to overturning Roe v. Wade nearly two years ago. Now, one could say the Supreme Court is a political body these days. The argument can be made. Is this going to inflame passions once again, regardless of what they do? And is it going to impact the upcoming election? Uh, Jeff, absolutely. I think clearly this has a lot of implications. From a technical perspective, this has serious implications for the entire pharmaceutical industry throughout the United States. Uh, certainly uh, it impacts uh, women and their reproductive health and how that goes forward. Politically, the impact that this could have, Jeff, on the upcoming presidential and congressional elections cannot be overstated. This will absolutely have a political consequence. To, to provide perhaps a little bit of background, we know the Supreme Court decided to hear this case after a lower court in April ruled to revoke the FDA's 23-year-old approval of mifeprestone. That has brought it to the Supreme Court. However, even though the legal arguments are on their face very technical, this is absolutely going to be a political battle in front of the United States Supreme Court. So given that fact, is it possible the Supreme Court will somehow shy away from a major ruling and instead provide a narrow, very technical ruling that doesn't impact the rest of what's going on? I think that's possible, Jeff. I am. Uh, I want to be clear, I am not an attorney. I am certainly not qualified to uh, get into the legal implications. However, Given the far-reaching potential cataclysmic political impacts, I could potentially see a more technical ruling here. Uh, but definitely, either way, this will impact healthcare access, the legal landscape, and the political landscape in uh, the United States. We know that uh, 5 million women in the U.S. have used this specific drug since its approval. 
So this absolutely cannot be it cannot be overstated how much of an impact this uh, court case will have. Thanks so much, KSL at Night host Taylor Morgan joining us live. We appreciate the insight. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here we go, Ricky Meese. If you're on I-15 in Salt Lake County, we do have slowdowns on the northbound side. It's heavy and slow from 2100 south almost to 6 south. But southbound I-15, that's bogged down from 53rd South Murray to 146 South. Also heavy and slow eastbound on I-80 between Bangor and the West Belt. Mark? Looks pretty good in Utah County on I-15 since earlier trouble has come and gone getting down towards SR-92 on the southbound side of the freeway. Some of the streets are a little bit crowded through Orem and Provo. I-15, or excuse me, Redwood Road is a pretty good way from Bluffdale as you make your way down to... Um, down to 2100 north big three out west still like the normal through west valley on bangor mountain view and 5600 west steve northbound 15 delays are waiting for you there at 2300 north warm springs road rolling into north salt lake this afternoon plus delays on northbound highway 89 from just past sr 193 to the i-84 ramps looking good though on 215's west belt and legacy between i-80 and park lane in farmington steve carlson the ksl traffic center while our active weather pattern continues over the next seven days, we'll see another chance for some valley rain and mountain snow on Tuesday with highs in the 40s. A little drier on Wednesday, partly cloudy in 53. Then another impulse goes by Thursday, giving us another chance for valley rain and mountain snow. We get a bit of a low for Thursday into Friday, partly to mostly cloudy skies with temperatures in the low 60s. But it looks like for Easter Sunday, another chance for some scattered rain showers. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. Your seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. 48 degrees in Salt Lake City, and it's Boeing, Boeing gone. We'll check the market close in just a moment. And the latest news from the world of finance, 452. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, only on KSL News Radio. When you need a new roof, it is not a happy occasion. And making it worse, this happened to me. A couple of guys in a pickup truck spend a week up there scraping, banging away, scaring the dogs, making a mess. But at IWC Roofing, they'll do your entire roof in one day. One day. And it's not a rush job. They send an entire crew of longtime employees up there to get the job done right, sending pictures along the way so you know you're getting what you paid for. And with IWC, you pay less and get the absolute best guarantee in the industry. That's why they're the biggest residential roofing company in Utah. They keep their prices lower because of volume. Plus, before they get to busy season, IWC will give you $1,500 extra off your new roof. Call one of the few Owens Corning Platinum Certified Contractors in the state for a free quote. No money down required. Call now. 801-232-5690. 801-232-5690. Or visit IWCRoofingUtah.com. There are products that offer up to a 20% upfront bonus just for opening an account and up to 12% per year for retirement income. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I've heard from other advisors saying this is too good to be true. No, it's not. We are one of the few who can offer products like these because we're independent. We're not registered with a broker-dealer who tells us what we have to sell, and we don't have to answer to a board of directors who prioritize shareholders over clients. So, is an upfront bonus up to 20% and 12% per year growth for income too good to be true? For most advisors, yes, but not Trajan Wealth. The fact that many of our clients come from other financial advisors is a testament to our value. Experience the Trajan Wealth difference for yourself. Call 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Guarantees are based on the claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. Tim and Amanda. Yes, KSL is a trusted institution. I mean, it's a hundred year old institution. And I know that with that legacy comes a responsibility and a trust. But I want you to know, we have diverse voices at this radio station. 
Young people, we have people of all different ages, of all different cultural backgrounds, who put their two cents into what stories we cover from day to day, a voice that is given to those stories. When I've been kicking around the Salt Lake City market for 40 years, I felt like I needed a decade of radio under my belt before I even attempted to climb that mountain. So as important as KSL is to you, you need to know that it's an important institution for both of us and something that we take very seriously in the responsibility of providing the right news and information for you and your families every day and carrying on the tradition of this great radio station. Utah's morning news between 5 and 9 on KSL News Radio. We're watching Utah's Money brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. The leaders of Boeing are leaving the company. The CEO is going to clean out his desk end of the year along with the chairman of the board. CEO Dave Calhoun says it's necessary to rebuild the Boeing brand after the recent fiascos. Chick-fil-A is going back on its no antibiotics ever pledge. Now it's going to be no antibiotics sometimes. The chains has supply shortages have forced them to backtrack. Chick-fil-A says instead they'll avoid antibiotics that are important to human medicine. The Energy Department has handed out $6 billion to help U.S. factories around the country clean up their carbon dioxide emissions. The money is going to help fund 33 different projects. Companies will install high-tech equipment to cut greenhouse gases. On Wall Street today, a down day. The Dow losing 162. The S&P down 15. The Nasdaq losing 44 points. You trust us for news and information in your car. Now trust us at home. KSL News Radio has you covered, keeping you informed on the latest breaking news, weather, traffic, sports, and more. Listen on your Amazon Echo or Google Home device. Just say, Alexa, open KSL News Radio, or listen on the KSL News Radio Listen app. Text the word app to 57500. KSL News Radio, we have you covered. Victor deployed for the first time to Afghanistan in 2003. At four in the morning, my phone rang. They said, I regret to inform you that your husband was wounded in action. Victor sustained a moderate traumatic brain injury. I was doing school full time, and I was also then caring for Victor. One of the most important elements of caregiving is taking care of yourself. I just didn't want to forget that I also had goals and that I also had a life. What I did is I challenged Victor to meet me halfway. There are almost six million military and veteran caregivers across the nation. We have our own journey, and we can fulfill that journey at the same time that we are helping our loved one. Visit aarp.org caregiving for a free military veteran's guide to navigate your caregiving journey and better care for your loved one and yourself. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. I'm Andrew Saul, Commissioner of Social Security. Beware of telephone scammers pretending to be government employees. Real Social Security employees will never threaten you. Call is threatening you with arrest or other legal action and demanding money are not from us. If you receive a call like this, hang up, do not provide them with any form of payment or information Report the call at oig.ssa.gov. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. A new accident, accident involving multiple vehicles southbound I-215's West Belt just before the 201 junction blocking a left lane and delays southbound I-15 from Murray through Draper. Mark? We haven't seen any delays in Utah County on I-15 freeway since an earlier wreck on the southbound side at Point of the Mountain. So both north and southbound freeway seeing good speeds. KSL travel time either direction, 10 minutes between Lehigh and Provo. Steve. Northbound 15 delays scattered between 33rd South and 6th North. Then it's full speeds all the way to Willard Bay. We have delays on northbound 89 from just past SR 193 to the 84 ramps. But looking good on 215's West Belt and Legacy between I-80 and Park Lane in Farmington. SNS Roofing is your trusted source for quality and affordability. They've been the top roofing company in Utah for over 40 years. Schedule an estimate now. Get a free quote at snsroofing.com. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines. Yes, we get more rain and snow tonight. 
We're heading down to 33 degrees. Much the same deal tomorrow. Scattered rain and snow. Your high temperature 48 for Tuesday. It's finally going to taper off tomorrow night. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. This is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. This is the 5 o'clock report, 20 minutes of uninterrupted news, commercial free. I'm Jeff Kaplan. KSL's top story, dozens of people are unable to return home after their apartment building caught fire this afternoon in Kearns. Joining us live from the scene now, KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera. Eric. Jeff, it was around 1230 uh, that Taylorsville Unified Fire arrived at the Carrington Square Apartments here in Kearns. And according to Kelly Bird with the department, took them around 30 minutes to extinguish the flames coming from a top story apartment roof. They're currently investigating the cause, but they do think it could be construction related as the entire building is undergoing exterior renovations. 24 units were asked to evacuate, one of those residents being Irene Frisley, who was working from home and shared her experience. I looked outside and saw like a fire truck show up, so I thought maybe I should put on some pants. So I put on some pants. Right as I was putting on my sweatshirt, the police opened the door and said, get out, get out, get out. Unfortunately, at least four units aren't able to return home for the night, but the Utah Red Cross is stepping up to help those families make sure they have a place to stay until they get the all clear to return home. Reporting live from Kearns, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. Thanks, Eric. Police have officially charged the man they say hit multiple women with his vehicle in a hit and run crashes in Salt Lake County. Police have arrested on fam about two weeks ago in connection with one on North Temple that left a woman seriously injured. Fam is now facing six attempted murder charges. KSL News Time 502. Developing news on KSL. Police have identified the woman killed in an American Fork home explosion last Wednesday. Officials say 78-year-old Kathy Harrison was in the home when it exploded and later died from her injuries. Fire crews are still looking into what caused that home to explode. Now on display in Salt Lake City for the first time ever, some of those historic artifacts just purchased by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. KSL News Radio's Amy Kobe paid a visit to the Church Museum for a first look. A room at the museum is now filled with what they're calling sacred artifacts, all part of a recent purchase from the Community of Christ, which included the Kirtland Temple. There are pages from Joseph Smith's translation of the Bible and letters written back and forth between Joseph and Emma Smith. Sometimes history can be like a still life where you imagine these people as being nothing like you. And when you see and read the documents they left behind, you actually realize we have far more in common with the people of the past than maybe we think. Historian with the Church History Department, Spencer McBride, says the most important thing is preserving these documents. The display will continue at the Church History Museum through October. McBride says it was quite a feat to get all these items on display so quickly. Amy Kobabe, KSL News Radio. And mere weeks after closing on the purchase, the church has begun offering free public tours of the Kirtland Temple a revered landmark to Latter-day Saints. It was the first temple, the only one built under the leadership of Joseph Smith. The first tour group went inside 10 o'clock this morning. The U.S. Supreme Court is set to take up an abortion pill case. Maria Chaleos is at the KSL National News Desk. The justices will hear a case about the abortion pill Mifepristone. The drug may face restrictions on being mailed to patients nationwide if the justices roll back access. It's the first abortion case the Supreme Court will decide after overturning Roe v. Wade two years ago. Veronica Faison is a nonprofit gender justice lawyer in Washington, D.C. Amongst my friends, it is a lot of fear. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre says the White House is expressing confidence in the FDA's authority to regulate the abortion pill. This administration will continue to stand by FDA's independent approval and regulation of mifeprestone as safe and effective. The Supreme Court is set to hear arguments tomorrow on whether states can ban the drug, which the FDA approved more than two decades ago. The U.N. Security Council has issued its first demand for a ceasefire in Gaza, with the U.S. angering Israel by abstaining from the vote. Israel responded by canceling this week's visit to Washington by a high-level delegation. National Security Advisor John Kirby says the administration is perplexed. The Prime Minister's office seems to be indicating through public statements that we somehow changed here. We haven't. 
it is the strongest public clash between the allies since the war began. This week's meeting was expected to focus on Israel's plans for a ground assault in Rafah, where more than a million civilians are taking refuge in war-torn Gaza. From the KSL National News Desk, I'm Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. This played out on live cable television this afternoon. Homeland Security agents have raided Diddy Combs' homes in Florida and California. Federal agents raiding Sean Diddy Combs' Los Angeles and Miami homes. The exact reason for the raid's unclear, but Combs has recently been associated with legal troubles that include lawsuits over alleged sexual assaults and sex trafficking. Homeland Security says further information will be forthcoming. Attorney Douglas Wigdor, who represents two plaintiffs who've made public accusations against Diddy, saying in a statement, quote, hopefully this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Dave Packer, ABC News. KSL News Time 505. First look traffic on the 5 o'clock report. Here's Ricky Meese. Medics now on the scene of this multiple vehicle crash. Southbound I-215's West Belt as you're approaching the SR-201 junction. That left lane is blocked to traffic. We've had a surface street accident called out on 5400 South near 50th West. And delays continue if you're northbound I-15 South Salt Lake to downtown. And some slowing northbound on Highway 89. And that starts after SR-193 up to the I-84 junction. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Thank you, Ricky. KSL News Time 506. KSL Sports, the season ended over the weekend. Now it looks like Utah State's head basketball coach is leaving town. After the Aggies won the Mountain West title, Danny Sprinkle is a hot commodity and he's moving along to the Washington Huskies. USU offered him a significant contract extension, but apparently it just wasn't enough to keep him in Logan. Utah State's going to have to move quickly because in the ever-evolving, ever-changing world of college athletics, you can't sit back too long and wait or you will get left behind. So they're going to have to find a new coach quickly, and that new coach is going to have to recruit the current players to stay because when a head coach leaves, those players then are given the option to transfer to another institution if they want. That's KSL TV sports anchor Sam Farnsworth. Sprinkle is going to reportedly make eh, three or four million dollars a year with the new gig in Washington. Tax day is closing in fast. Susan Spears, the CEO of the Utah Association of CPA, says you should already be making plans for next year and figuring out what tax breaks you might be able to take advantage of. Let's start thinking about these things for the 2024 year because we know that in 2025 there are going to be some changes. We just don't know what. So you can consider that gigantic question mark as you gather your W-2s and your 1099s and try and figure out if you're getting a refund this year. Is anybody surprised college is going to cost more next fall? KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson on tuition hikes at Utah State Colleges and Universities. The Utah Board of Higher Education approved a 3.3% average increase, but they want to reassure everyone that Utah schools are far less expensive than other colleges around the country. They are also coming off a tuition increase freeze put in place by Governor Cox last year, for which colleges had to cover the costs internally. While this applies to most public colleges and universities, Tuition won't be increasing for technical colleges this fall. KSL News Time 508. This is my minute of news brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. I've never understood New Orleans. Been there, and everybody said you got to go to Bourbon Street. Bourbon Street. Oh, big surprise. The only thing on the street named after liquor is bars. And when I walked into one to see what this incredible Bourbon Street is all about, it was grimy. I was in stark mortal fear of getting hepatitis C. I touched nothing and got out of there. So when the New Orleans city government revealed last week that even the rats are in on the debauchery, no surprise here. Last week at a city council meeting, police superintendent Ann Kirkpatrick revealed the police headquarters is filthy. Here's what she found. Major rodents uh, on the floor, the cockroaches, the rats eating our marijuana. They're all high. I presume these rats don't have medicinal marijuana cards, so we can assume they are literally party animals. But I was curious upon hearing this. They're all high. Question, how do you know? Are they pounding back the Doritos by the claw load and tearing open bags of Oreos? Well, 
Yes, according to a Johns Hopkins researcher who says rats are just like people, consuming cannabis and then binging on sugary, high-fat foods like Oreos while they lay around like furry couch potatoes. But hang on. The researchers point out that if you eat raw marijuana, you don't get high. The devil's chemistry is required only if you apply heat. Do you activate the THC that gets you high? So unless the rats were smoking, they were not stoned. Just lazy from overeating everything in sight. The police commissioner was overstating the case, and it worked. New Orleans City Council approved a brand new police headquarters. And I assume the rats will pack up and move to Bourbon Street. They'll be right at home. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Delays on the West Belt due to a medical, uh, due to a crash involving injuries with m- multiple vehicles. Southbound I 215's West Belt just before the 201 junction. Backing traffic to I-80, southbound I-15, bogged down from Murray through Draper with an accident, a new one in the mix. Southbound I-15, just before the South Town Mall moved to the shoulder. Mark? Well, we've been short on accidents since an earlier one at Point of the Mountain on the southbound side of the freeway. I-15 has been a much lighter than normal commute since then through Utah County between Basin and Point of the Mountain. I'm not seeing any big delays. I'm seeing a bit of a pushback heading from the freeway, Pioneer Crossing over towards Redwood Road. Uh, Redwood itself, good from Bluffdale, Big 3 out west, Mountain V5600 west, and Bangor Highway through West Valley, typical sluggish, Steve. And if you're on uh, northbound 15, you're going to be tapping those brakes in spots between South Salt Lake at 33rd up to about 6 north in spots, and then full speeds all the way up to Brigham City. In South Weber, northbound 89 is all clogged up, bumper to bumper in South Weber from uh, just past SR 193 to the I-84 ramps, but looking good on Legacy and the West Davis Highway. New deals are blooming at Murdoch Hyundai. Pick your new car at the spring sales event. Receive 0% for three years on the Tucson or lease a new Elantra for only $199. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. As we head through the 5 o'clock hour, we're looking at temperatures in the mid-40s under mostly cloudy skies. Still a slight chance for a few little scattered showers to come by. Generally, temperatures will be in the mid-40s through 6 and 7 o'clock, low 40s for 8 and 9. Ultimate lows will bottom out in the mid-30s. With your hourly forecast on the 5 o'clock report, I'm Kevin Eubank. Well, the sky and the mountains are pretty interesting at this hour with the contrast of the dark clouds, the sunshine, the rain in Ogden where it's 45 degrees in Salt Lake City. Mostly cloudy, 48 degrees, and sunset tonight comes at 7.45 p.m. KSL News Time, 5.12, an Ohio woman is on a mission to clean up America. Maria Chaleos has more. Debbie Miller in Akron, Ohio, is on a mission. She's collecting trash not just in her block but around town. Debbie started picking up trash after her dog received a bloody nose, sniffing a broken bottle, and she's never stopped. I'm keeping a lot of dogs safe and children and and grown-ups. I mean, people ride their bikes on the street and there's broken glass and nails. Debbie has collected over a half million pieces of trash so far and received a proclamation from the mayor for her efforts. Now she's working on a new goal picking up over a million pieces of trash. If one person can do what I've done, then anybody can do it. President and CEO of Keep America Beautiful, Jenny Lawson, agrees. Her data tells us that if every American picked up 152 pieces of litter, we would clean up all the litter in America. From the National News Desk, I'm Maria Chaleos, KSL News Radio. Thanks, Maria. One of the stories we're cover- covering on the 5 o'clock report, an abandoned Soviet-era project known as the world's deepest hole was legitimately thought by some to be an opening to hell. Well, that's been debunked. KSL News Radio's Emma Keddington with more. Deep in the Kola Peninsula in northwest Russia, there's an abandoned Soviet scientific research station. In the middle of the building is a metal cap on the concrete floor that covers the deepest human dug hole on Earth. It's called the... It's called the Kola Super Deep Borehold, more than 40,000 feet deep. According to a report by the Mirror, there was a recording released by Soviet scientists that claimed the sounds emanating from this hole were filled with the screams of tortured souls. That's been officially debunked. Now we know the sounds are just a direct pull from the 1972 horror movie, Barren Blood. But even though it's not a portal to Satan's lair, scientists did find 14 species of fossilized microorganisms in the hole. 
KSL News Time 514 trending on social media. A new exhibit combining the past and the future. The National World War II Museum is using AI to let people have virtual conversations with veterans, including a Medal of Honor winner who died three years ago. The exhibit is called Voices from the Front. It lets people ask questions to people like military nurses, factory workers, and a dancer in USO shows. 102-year-old war veteran Olin Pickens even got to hold a conversation with his video-recorded twin at the museum. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the Utah Board of Higher Education just approved a 3.3% increase in college tuition going into effect this fall. I'm KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson. Second, police have officially charged 26 year old An Pham in Salt Lake County with four hit and runs. Pham is now facing six attempted murder charges. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. That's I 215's West Belt, where we have a crash with injuries southbound just before the 201 junction. The left lane is blocked. That's causing delays back to I 80. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Our stormy pattern lasts for another day. I'm Kevin Eubank. It's 48 at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Now, our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Chuck Severson. Raids going on now with armed officers at the estates of the music mogul Sean Diddy Combs in Miami and Los Angeles. Confirmed by the Department of Homeland Security, says ABC's Kana Whitworth in L.A. Agents from Homeland Security Investigations seen in fatigues and body armor entering his home in the wealthy L.A. enclave of Holmby Hills. Drones flying overhead, Combs' two sons reportedly detained at the scene, and more agents at his mansion in Miami. So far, no word what it's about. The White House says it's disappointed with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's decision to cancel a visit by members of his war cabinet to Washington. It happened after the U.S. refused to block a U.N. resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and the release of all hostages. Netanyahu accusing the U.S. of changing its stance on the war. Nope, says White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby. It seems like the Prime Minister's office is choosing to create a perception of daylight here when they don't need to do that. A federal judge in New York refusing to delay former President Trump's criminal trial next month on alleged election interference and the hush money payment to a porn star. But another judge lowered his bond in another case, says ABC's Andy Field. Donald Trump saying he'll come up with the now significantly lower $175 million bond to appeal his fraud case. As for this and his hush money trial next month. I don't know how you can have a trial that's going on right in the middle of an election. Prosecutors say they're pursuing facts and evidence that have nothing to do with this election. An Ohio man who pled guilty to making death threats against then Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs has been sentenced to two and a half years in prison, Joshua Russell. After setting records last week, Wall Street's major indexes closed lower today. The Dow down 164 points. You're listening to ABC News. And now the in-depth on KSL, a story we've been following through the afternoon, an apartment building fire in Kearns. It led to a complete building evacuation, leaving a lot of residents unable to go home. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera is joining us live from Kearns with the story. Eric? Jeff, it was around 1230 when Taylorsville Unified Fire responded to smoke billowing out of a rooftop of the Carrington Square Apartments. That's just about a block from Kearns High School. Emergency responders went door to door and even busted some down to make sure everyone home evacuated the building. Uh, one of those residents was Irene Frizzly, who was working from home and told me police opened her door and told her to leave immediately. So I said, I have a cat. They said, grab your cat and take off. It's a three story apartment. So the roof caught on fire. They're doing construction, obviously, with the scaffolding. And possibly that was why the fire started. But, yeah, just came out here, saw a bunch of people trying to get their kids. So I just opened my car, said, get your kids in the car. Unfortunately, due to the damage the fire caused, we now know that 34 residents across 12 units are unable to return home today. The Utah Red Cross and property management are making sure those residents and families do have a place to stay for the time being, and the cause of the fire is still being investigated. So, Eric, did they say where the fire started? Jeff, I do have a clip from Kelly Bird with Taylorsville Unified Fire to explain. Our units made a, a quick attack, got up inside the apartments, and, and found fire in the attic space. 
they were able to do a pretty quick extinguishment before it spread, but there is some pretty significant fire damage up in the, the top floors on the south side of the unit. Reporting live from Kearns, Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. Thanks, Eric. You've been listening to the In Depth Now. Let's get you home. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. A slow ride on southbound I 15 as usual. This goes from 53rd South almost to Bluffdale. Now starting to see some heavy and slow traffic westbound on the 201 in spots between I 15 and the West Belt. But it's the West Belt that remains jammed up due to an accident. It, it occurred on the southbound side just before the 201 junction. It's getting cleared now, but it's back traffic to I-80. Mark? Well, we're short on accidents, and in fact, it's been lighter than normal since we had one at Point of the Mountain on southbound I-15 earlier. Right now, I-15 between Point of the Mountain and Payson is relatively delay-free. Biggest delays may be on the streets off the freeway through Orem and Provo, and then on Pioneer Crossing, struggling from I-15 out to Redwood Road. That's pretty typical. Out west still looks good on Bangor, 5600 west, and Mountain View through West Valley. Steve? Got those scattered delays right now on northbound 15 between 21st and 13th. South. In South Weaver, northbound Highway 89 at a crawl right now. It's packed in from SR 193 to the I 84 junction. Looking good though on Legacy, the West Davis Highway, and on the, uh, the uh, 215 West Side Belt Route from I 80 heading north. Did you know Simple Maintenance rejuvenates your asphalt roof for 30 to 50% longer? Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at MasterRoofingUtah.com to schedule your free assessment today. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. The KSL 7-day forecast stays unsettled as we get another little wave of valley rain and mountain snow on Tuesday. Look for a high of 49 degrees. In between day Wednesday, partly cloudy and 53. Then another chance for some scattered valley rain and mountain snow on Thursday. We'll get up a bit of a break for Friday, Saturday, and even a little bit into Sunday, but... By Easter Sunday morning, we start to see another round of potential valley rain as temperatures top out in the 60s. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. It's 48 degrees. Do you get the KSL breaking news text alerts? Uh, you can. The advantage is you find out first, sometimes before I even get to mention this stuff on the air. Boom, it's on your phone, on the app. Sign up for breaking news text alerts from KSL. All you got to do, send the word CASH to 57500. And in addition, you get the breaking news alerts. You can win 250 cash from KSL on April 1st. This is Derek Miller speaking on business. Farasha is a woman-owned fashion consulting company that offers production and photo shoot services, professional wardrobe styling, creative retail marketing strategies, collaborative events, and more. Founder Vanessa De Palma Wright joins us with more. I launched Farasha in 2009 in Park City as a pop-up boutique concept representing emerging designers. We set up in niche resort towns such as Sun Valley, Jackson Hole, and Aspen to promote their brands in unique, untapped markets. We're currently exploring Brooklyn, New York as our next stop. Since then, Farasha has transformed into a full-service fashion consulting company offering services ranging from styled photo shoots to fashion-focused experiences. As a passionate stylist, I enjoy encouraging women to utilize fashion as a form of expression to feel confident, beautiful, and the best possible version of themselves. I work methodically with my clients to achieve their fashion and business objectives with memorable results. Whether you're looking to transform yourself with a wardrobe update, book a photo shoot for your company, or execute a unique bespoke event, Farasha is your go-to for all things fashion. Learn more at farashastyle.com. For 15 years, the Farasha team has been committed to fulfilling your fashion and business objectives with strategic action plans, creative production, and measurable results. Learn more at their website. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, speaking on business. Well, hello, it's me again. And like me, I'll bet you're ready for spring in a little green lawn again. I've got a tip. Don't spend a fortune hiring a lawn care company. Save some money and do it yourself. And here's how. Go to j, &J Garden Center in Layton and purchase their simple, color-coded five-step fertilizer system that covers up to 10,000 square feet and will rejuvenate your lawn for just $199.98. And nobody beats J&J's price. 
So for a lush, healthy, green lawn, come and try j and Garden Center's five-step fertilizer system. I promise you won't regret it. Take the Leighton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then with two miles, you've got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, j and Garden Center. Any Hour Services can help you make sure your furnace keeps you warm this winter. Whether you need a tune-up, a repair, or a second opinion about replacing it, call Any Hour Services or visit anyhourservices.com. The last thing you want in the morning <laughs> is more noise. The day's just getting started. Maybe you're feeling a little anxious or overwhelmed, and it's not even 8 yet. So, catching up on important news stories, some sense of weather and traffic, it shouldn't be stressful. Get a wrap on the day ahead from smart, inviting voices who know you're trying to ease in. Do you love a rainy day? I do, actually. I do, too. Tim and Amanda, mornings from 5 to 9, they have you covered on KSL News Radio. We're watching Utah's Money brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. If you're hitting the road toward California for spring break, be prepared. The average price for unleaded regular in California, four oh nine. Now, if you visit L.A., tank up first. Los Angeles, over 5 bucks a gallon. For you, the price of a plane ticket has gone up over the past year. A travel company reporting that Salt Lake City airfares are up 6% from a year ago. But in other big cities around the country, fares are flat to down. Salt Lake City, one of the few hubs to see fares go up over the past 12 months. On Wall Street today, down day. On this Monday, the Dow lost 162. It closed at 39,313. The S&P was down 15 points. The Nasdaq lost 44. KSL News Time 526. And this hour of the show is brought to you by the Utah Association of CPAs. Joining us live in the studio, hi, Troy Martin, partner at Martin Tax and Advisory, LLC. Welcome to KSL News Radio. first of all. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. It's great to have you. We're going to talk about retirement and saving for it tonight. So first of all, how can I look toward retirement, sock away some money, and get a tax break? Well, there's still some options that you can do to to contribute to retirement this year, uh, even for the 2023 year. Um, you can uh, contribute to some IRAs if you'd like to, as long as you do that prior to April 15th. How much can you contribute? Well, you can contribute uh, if $6,500. Um, there are some limitations that apply to that. And then if you're an older person, you can add an extra thousand to that if you're over 50 then you can uh, actually add another $1,000. And what's the tax benefit to doing it? So there's two types of contributions that you can make. You can make what they call a traditional IRA contribution, which becomes a tax deduction, or you can make a Roth IRA contribution. That is not deductible for tax purposes, but has some very specific tax benefits in that you don't have to claim the income on that investment um, later on when you retire. So it, so it's kind of an after-tax deduction. You have to pay tax on the deduction that you put in, but then you never have to pay tax on its earnings. All right, I'll ask you the question, which one's better, Roth or traditional? It depends, which is always the question or answer we give in tax law. So if people in higher tax brackets want to contribute to the deductible IRA because it saves them more money, if you're in a lower tax bracket, then you're going to want to contribute to the Roth. Got it. You see, this is the kind of stuff that you need a CPA for because it gets detailed and the internet doesn't have all the answers. Sometimes, as Troy just said, it depends. Get the most out of your income tax prep when you hire a CPA. Go to uacpa.org to find a CPA who's right for you. Join your friends who rely on KSL each morning for the fastest routes to work and school. Uh, I like traffic on the nines. So I need to get the kids up earlier so that my son isn't driving quickly in a snowstorm. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. All lanes open, but the crash is over to the shoulder in the cleanup stages southbound on the west belt. 
just before the 201 junction with residual delays. And delays are actually starting to break up southbound I-15 from Murray to Bluffdale. Mark? Linden in Utah County is probably ground zero of the delays we have right now on I-15. Looks like southbound between 1500 South headed from Pleasant Grove Boulevard. Worst of the delays are going to be southbound. And then it's just sluggish as you make your way 1600 North Orem up towards American Fork 5th East on the northbound side. Steve? Heavy and slow on southbound Foothill right now between Sunnyside Avenue and uh, 2300 North. Scatter slowdowns on uh, North Northbound I-15 between the Spaghetti Bowl at 21st South and North Salt Lake. And snow in South Weber right now on Highway 89. That's northbound all bogged down between SR-193 and the I-84 Rams. Spring into performance with Jody Wilkinson's new Acura all-wheel drive RDX. Superior handling, safety, and luxury. Lease for $4.59 monthly. Details at Acura. Uh, details at Acura texting 57500. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. You're listening to Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good afternoon, 530 at KSL. Jeff Kaplan here, 45 degrees, KSL's top story. Police have officially charged a man they say is connected to four hit and runs in Salt Lake County over the last several months. They say he did it on purpose. KSL News Radio's Claire Scott with details. On Fam is facing 10 felony charges, including six first degree felony attempted murder charges for what police are calling targeted auto pedestrian crashes. Fam was arrested about two weeks ago after police say they believe he was involved in a hit and run on North Temple that left one woman seriously injured. Video surveillance of the incident shows Fam's vehicle running a red light and hitting a woman as she was walking on the sidewalk. Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill announced the charges against Fam, saying they were able to connect these four incidents together through technology and with the help of several police departments. Claire Scott, Casel News Radio. On the valley floor, you might have seen rain, snow, sleet, hail today, but in the mountains, it's been a burst of snow that closed Little Cottonwood Canyon and gave the snowpack a last-minute boost. Better yet, there could still be more coming up there. Last week's warm weather actually melted off some of the water in our snowpack, but this storm added it right back on. While we've already got more than enough snow water than we need for this year, KSL meteorologist Matt Johnson says this is exactly the kind of weather we want to see to have an efficient spring runoff. What it's doing, what these late season storms are doing, is it's helping us to get that slow release of water. That'll first saturate the soil, prepare the grounds for the real snowpack melt, that will be coming off and go straight to the rivers and lakes. Matt says he thinks our snow water supply could grow another inch with mountain snow set to keep falling this week. The average day we usually see our snowpack peak out is just over a week away. Adam Small, KSL News Radio. UHP says troopers responded to more than 140 crashes since yesterday morning. Many of them right here in the Salt Lake Valley. Troopers say seatbelts managed to keep people safe in several rollovers they responded to. UHP says the majority of the crashes, single drivers who spun out and lost control. Already by today, 3 p.m., we have seen rain, snow, sun, then rain again. Kevin Eubanks says the weather roulette wheel is just going to keep on spinning. So you'll get sunshine for a little bit, then all of a sudden a little band of rain, some hail, some snow. And this pattern is going to hold through the evening, so we get it in the next five, six hours, a little lull overnight, and then another wave will come through tomorrow during the day and afternoon. Kevin says things will dry up on Wednesday. The construction freeze in a small community in Summit County has finally been lifted. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. Oakley has barred all construction with water hookups for the last three years. It's because the area, like much of Utah, struggles with water supply. But now the area is getting a new and deeper well that they hope will sustain the current residents that want to expand and even attract some new ones. However, the city doesn't want a big boom in development. The plan is just to be deliberate and smart, keeping it relatively small. Oakley has about 1,600 residents. A date has been set for former President Trump's hush money trial. Maria Chaleos is at the KSL National News Desk. The former president's hush money case is set for trial April 15th. Mr. Trump slamming the judge's decision, saying there shouldn't be a trial before the 2024 presidential election. I don't know how you can have a trial that's going on right in the middle of an election. Not fair. 
not fair. Mr. Trump has indicated he plans to testify at the trial over a hush payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Meantime, Mr. Trump is praising today's decision from an appellate court that ruled that he can post a lower bond of $175 million to cover his $464 million civil fraud judgment. I respect the appellate division for substantially reducing that ridiculous amount of money that was put on by a corrupt judge. He says he'll post a bond, securities or cash to cover the $175 million. Florida teenagers could be banned from social media if a new state law holds up to its legal challenges. Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill today that prohibits social media accounts for children under 14. Critics say the law violates the First Amendment, but Florida Speaker of the House Paul Renner says it does not restrict free speech. What we have addressed is the addictive features that are at the heart of of why children stay on these platforms for hours and hours on end. Under the new law, parents must provide permission for 15 and 16 year olds to sign up for social media accounts. From the KSL National News Desk, by Maria Shaleos, KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 535. If you're headed to Utah's biggest sandbox over Easter weekend, you are not going to be alone. Little Sahara Recreation Area is expecting double the number of visitors from last year. They're expecting between 40 and 50,000 people. Why? Well, off-roading enthusiasts will take advantage of Easter weekend, coinciding with spring break in a lot of communities. The BLM is increasing staff size for the days ahead. Remember, if you do go, first of all, good luck fighting the crowds. And second, kids under 18 are required to wear a helmet when they're riding off-road vehicles. KSL News Time. 536, now your first look traffic. Here's Ricky Meese. A new accident, this time it's in Draper, southbound I-15 by Bangador Highway, already out of traffic to the shoulder. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. Thanks, Ricky. My minute's on the way next. Stay right here. Getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus 100 bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year, even if you filed online. Yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbV. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services. And if you have a drain that's clogged or backed up, after you've tried the plungers and products, the next step usually involves some kind of drain snake or cabling equipment. You see, sometimes the blockage is far enough down the line that you need special equipment that most homeowners just don't have. That's where the drains department at Any Hour Services can help. A drain snake can clear most blockages and get the water flowing again. And clearing block drains is what our drains department does day in and day out. So if you're a homeowner with a drain line that's clogged or backed up and you'd like one of our drain technicians to come and snake the line for you, it's only $29. Yep, you heard that right. Any Hour Services will snake any drain line with normal access for only $29. Sink, showers, tubs, toilets, floor drains, laundry drains, even that sewer main line that connects to the city. We'll snake any line for just $29. For help with your drain issues, call Any Hour Services at 801-443-7700. You can Google Any Hour Services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. No one helps more homeowners than Any Hour Services. Wherever you find yourself on the road of life. The freeway blocked because of the jackknife truck trailer. It's better with guidance from the KSL traffic team. It looks like traffic there is starting to move again. Time your commute with traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines. Mornings and afternoons on KSL News Radio. This is my minute of news brought to you by Any Hour Services, electrical, plumbing, heating, and air, anyhourservices.com. As we head into the heart of the presidential campaign, I want to tell you about a scientific discovery of a new species of fish. It's a freshwater fish that swims in the streams of Southeast Asia. Ichthyologists were shocked to find this fish the size of a fingernail much to their surprise, makes noise. The fish is called Danianella cerebrum. 
Danielella cerebrum and you don't want it in your home aquarium. The noise that this little Danielella cerebrum makes if you're nearby is as loud as a jackhammer. 140 decibels, about the same as an ambulance siren. Sometimes the littlest things make the biggest noise, a bullet. A bullet is only about this big. When you fire a 22, the noise is about the same as this fish, about 140 decibels. So you want to hear this slender little half-inch thingamabob? Listen. Scientists say this fish has a muscle that never fatigues and it rubs against the ribs. Sort of like a baseball card snapping against bicycle spokes. And as we head into political season, I'd like you to remember, like Danielella Cerebrum, sometimes the littlest people make the loudest noise. Of which, there's been plenty so far. You can't love your country only when you win. Two nights ago, we all heard Crooked Joe's angry, dark, hate-filled rant. Didn't it bring us together? Remember, he said, I'm to bring the country to, 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 together. I say, stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. So going forward, remember, if you hear a lot of noise and something seems fishy, protect your ears. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Southbound slowdowns are starting to break up as you travel from Murray through Draper. Now, we do have a new accident uh, in Draper by Bangor Highway, but it's already out of traffic. But if you are on I-215's West Belt, the delays have cleared from the crash, now being towed away southbound on the West Belt just before the 201 junction. A little bit of slowing westbound on the 201 between Redwood Road and Bangor. Mark? Rush hour delays have caught up in Utah County. Southbound I-15, they're not very severe, but right now the worst of it's going to be southbound freeway at Pleasant Grove Boulevard. Northbound is not as heavy between Orem and Pleasant Grove, but you got some volume there. Getting 2100 North Lehigh delays heading from the freeway. Southbound Redwood Road should make your way down to Porter Rockwell. Still the drive through West Valley today on the Big Three has not been too bad. Steve? So heavy and slow on southbound Foothill Drive right now between Sunnyside Avenue and 2300 uh, North. Scattered slowdowns if you're on northbound 15, leaving uh, from, well, actually into downtown between 21st and North Salt Lake. Delays on northbound Legacy filling in now from 2600 south and Woods Cross into Bountiful. Northbound 89 still packed in from SR 193, but looking good on uh, the West Davis Highway this afternoon. Baby Animal Days at America West Heritage Center in Logan, March 28th through April 6th. Visit awhc.org. Baby Animals Day. Join them for springtime. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. Well, after a very stormy weekend, the week work week has started off with those scattered showers continuing. We'll see a bit of a lull tonight. Look for a low of 34, but more valley rain and mountain snow will move through on Tuesday as another little week embedded disturbance goes by. Look for a high of 49. Bit of a break on Wednesday, partly cloudy 53. Then another little front sweeps on by Thursday. It'll bring us another chance for rain. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. And right now in Salt Lake City, it's 43 degrees. Danny Sprinkle is leaving USU. He's going to coach basketball at Washington. We're going to go in depth coming up. We're streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the KSL News Radio app. This is Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. This hour of the show is brought to you by the Utah Association of CPAs. Joining us live in the studio, Troy Martin, partner at Martin Tax and Advisory, LLC. So we're talking about retirement, a subject near and dear to our hearts. IRAs, is there a maximum or minimum contribution that you can or should make? Yeah, there is no minimum contribution. You can make as little as you'd like to. Um, and so there's no minimum on the maximums. Uh, for this, for 2023, it's $6,500 unless you're older, then you can add another $1,000 to it. Okay, at what age can you begin to contribute to an IRA? And at what age do you have to stop? Ah, very good question. So there's no beginning age. You just have to have earned income. 
So that would be being paid on a W-2 or being self-employed. So a lot of people choose to employ their children or their children work. They can contribute uh, up to their how much they make or to the to the maximum limits on the IRA. What if you don't have any earned income? Can you still contribute to an IRA if you want to? You cannot contribute to either a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA. You have to have earned income. But wait, there's a third kind of IRA, isn't there? Yeah, there is. It's called a SEP IRA, a Simplified Employee Pension. And it works for self-employed people um, or people that own companies. And what's unique about that is that you can contribute to it even after the end of the year, where most retirement plans like a 401k or a 403b or something like that, a SEP IRA can be contributed to, set up and contributed to by the due date of the tax return, which means that even in, includes extensions all the way to September 15th or October 15th. See, everybody knows about IRAs, but it's the fine print that can kill you, right? Exactly. And, and they're, they're more complex than you think. That's why you need to get the most out of your income tax prep when you hire a CPA, like Troy Martin. Here's what you do. Go to uacpa.org. That's uacpa.org to find a CPA who's right for you. Rick at loansbyrick.com has some important information for anyone in Utah and Idaho who's thinking of buying a house. Do it now. Don't wait until summer because home prices in those two states will likely increase by 10 to 20 percent due to in-migration from California and other states. That means a house that costs 400000 right now will go up by 40 to 80 grand with multiple offers. Interest rates may drop later in the year, possibly to the 6% range, but the increased cost of the home will mean that your monthly payments will go up by a lot. So start looking and buy now. Refinance when the interest rates go down. Waiting to buy your home will only hurt you in the long run. For more details and buying strategies, call Rick at loansbyrick.com right now. 801-809-SAVE. Rick can evaluate your situation and get you on the path to buying a home today. 801-809-SAVE or click loansbyrick.com. Rick Kirschenbaum, NMLS 241179 and Vintage Lending, NMLS 287106 are equal housing lenders. Some restrictions apply. KSL News Time 545. The three things you need to know this hour first. Now on display at the Church History Museum in Salt Lake City, items just bought by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints from the Community of Christ. I'm KSL News Radio's Amy Kobe. Second story we're following closely an apartment fire in Kearns has sent dozens of people running from their homes this afternoon. The American Red Cross says a dozen units were impacted by the blaze, 34 people displaced. Third, our biggest traffic trouble spot. Some slowdowns on Legacy going northbound through Woods Cross and Bountiful and northbound I-15 in Davis County. A little heavy and slow. That's going to be from Antelope Drive through Clearfield. Ricky Meese in the KSL Traffic Center. More scattered valley rain and mountain snow. I'm Kevin Eubank. 48 degrees of the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios now. Our top national stories... ABC News, I'm Chuck Sievertson. Officers with the Department of Homeland Security raiding the Miami and Los Angeles homes of the music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. Sources tell ABC News it's a human trafficking investigation. In L.A., ABC's Kena Whitworth. A lawyer for two of the alleged victims told us in a statement that they welcome today's law enforcement activity, adding that they hope this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible. Combs denies the allegations. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu canceled a Washington meeting with members of his war cabinet after the U.S. refused to block a U.N. resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and the release of all hostages. L.A. Dodgers star Shohei Otani is speaking out about the illegal gambling and theft charges against his interpreter through a translator. Ipe has been stealing money from my account and has told lies. After several incidents, Boeing's Chief David Calhoun says he will retire at year's end. This is ABC News. And time for the KSL In-Depth. After winning the Mountain West and grabbing an NCAA tournament berth, Utah State's head basketball coach Danny Sprinkle is leaving the Aggies. He's going to become the head coach of the Washington Huskies. Here's KSL TV sports anchor Sam Farnsworth. I talked to him a bit earlier. He did something that no other coach in college basketball has done before. He came to Utah State with only three players remaining from the previous team's roster. He brought in 13 new faces, basically all these guys who had never played before, and they go on to win 28 games, they go on to win the regular season Mountain West title, and they win a game at the NCAA tournament, and that had the attention 
of all the other coaches in the country, all the other athletic departments in the country, and suddenly he quickly rose to the top of everyone's want list. Was he getting a lot of offers, really? And if so, why did he pick the Washington Huskies? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure exactly why he chose Washington, but I do know the uh, the amount of money that he is reportedly going to make is substantial. It'll be three to four times more than what he's making uh, at at you know Utah State, and so that certainly is uh, probably quite a bit enough to twist one's elbow to go that direction. But yeah, there were other teams that were reportedly interested, but it sounded like Washington was the front runner from the get go, and so. The other teams may not have pursued as hard, knowing that that was probably the final destination. Do we have a number? How much he's going to be making? Um, well, I know this: he made nine hundred thousand dollars at Utah State this season. So times that by three to four, and that's about the ballpark that he's making up there. General idea: you mentioned that at the beginning he only had three players left over when he arrived. What kind of state is he leaving the Aggies in? That's a great question, and we're going to find out soon. I mean, Utah State's going to have to move quickly. Their athletic director, Diana Sabo, she's not even been on the job for a full year yet. This is going to be her biggest decision that she's had to make so far, and she's going to have to move quickly because in the ever-evolving, ever-changing world of college athletics, you can't sit back too long and wait or you will get left behind. So they're going to have to find a new coach quickly, and that new coach is going to have to recruit the current players to stay because when a head coach leaves, those players then are given the option to transfer to another institution if they want, and some of those guys might want to follow Sprinkle to Washington. Utah State says the search for their next head coach is already underway. KSL News Time 550 now. Let's get you home. Your traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. Southbound I-15, heavy and slow from just before 53rd South to 72nd, and again from... Uh, just as you're passing the Southtown Mall into Bluffdale, but we are clear now on the West Belt and the 21st South Freeway. Mark? It's been an easy commute into, through, and out of Utah County on I-15. Biggest delays right now, just going to be sluggish volume right around Pleasant Grove Boulevard. It looks better on Redwood Road, a little uh, backup approaching Porter Rockwell, and still through West Valley. Biggest delay is going to be Mountain View. Bit of a struggle heading, as usual, as our 201 to 3500 South. Steve? Looks like Southbound Foothill Drive still a bit thick uh, between Sunnyside and 2300 North. Um, scatter slowdowns remaining if you're on northbound I-15 between 21st South and North Salt Lake. Plus delays on northbound Legacy and Woods Cross and Bountiful. Northbound Highway 89 still bogged down from SR-193 up to the I-84 Rams. Monster winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Don't wait for a disaster. Go to the Masters at MasterRoofingUtah.com to schedule your free windstorm assessment today. Steve Carlson, the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7-day forecast continues to have a threat for some valley rain and mountain snow overnight and into the day on Tuesday. It will be scattered, but it will be there. It will go a little drier on Wednesday, partly cloudy and 53. Then another wind pulse goes by Thursday, more valley rain, mountain snow, and a high of 59. We get a bit of a lull from the storminess on Friday into Saturday, mostly cloudy skies with temperatures back in the low 60s. But for Easter Sunday, chance for a little bit of rain and a little bit of mountain snow. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Kevin Eubank. And right now in Salt Lake City, 48 degrees, your seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. We'll check the markets in just a moment. Stay here. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, only on KSL News Radio. She's so mean, but I don't care. This hour of the show is brought to you by the Utah Association of CPAs. Joining us live, Troy Martin is in the studio, partner at Martin Tax and Advisory, LLC. So we've been talking off air about the next level stuff. Let's do this on the air. You were talking about converting your IRA, like people have an IRA, converting that to a Roth IRA. Why? You know, because, again, you don't pay tax on the the entire amount you pull out of a, a Roth IRA during retirement. However, if you have a traditional IRA, you pay tax on the original contribution plus the earnings in that. So, and and you're mandatorily required to pull that out at age 73. 
So a lot of people who have earned a lot during their lifetime or have separate investments besides just IRAs, they'll still pay at a high tax bracket. However, there's times when you can convert um, your uh, traditional IRA to a Roth. For example, if you have a loss in your business, say, you know, the the economy goes down or we have something like COVID where a huge loss is generated, then you can convert that, pay tax on it at lower rates than you might possibly pay in the future. So it sounds like this is a pretty complex spreadsheet, figuring out whether it's worthwhile to take a traditional and go to a Roth IRA, right? Yeah, it is complex, but it really comes down to tax brackets. So if we can ever utilize the lower tax brackets and, and tax that income that's pre-tax and get it get it into the Roth, that's what we want to do. But we find, you know, even with the stock market uh, kind of been down the last couple of years that people want to max their, you know, even their 24% bracket, make those conversions because they know they're going to pay at a much higher bracket in the future. Okay. Now, if your head is spinning listening to this, I'm going to ask a simple question. Will your accountant figure out for you if it's beneficial to do this? Yes, your accountant, along with your financial advisor, um, usually is the team that you want to work with to, to decide if that's a good idea for you. So, Troy, I want to thank you, first of all, for the tax advice, and second of all, for pointing out that you get the most out of your income tax prep when you hire a CPA. If you want questions like this answered, go to uacpa.org. That's uacpa.org, and find the CPA who's right for you. Wherever you find yourself on the road of life, the freeway blocked because of the jackknife truck trailer, it's better with guidance from the KSL traffic team. It looks like traffic there is starting to move again. Time your commute with traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines, mornings and afternoons on KSL News Radio. We are watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Utah First Credit Union. Truth Social begins trading on Wall Street tomorrow morning. Stock symbol DJT, as in Donald J. Trump, who stands to make $3 billion tomorrow. Money he can't touch for six months, as per the company's board of directors. On Wall Street, the Dow is down 162 today. It closed at 39,313. The S&P down 15 points. The NASDAQ down 44. KSL News Time, 556. Cougar tracks now. Here's KSL Sports BYU insider Mitch Harper. BYU football enters the final week of spring camp this week. The quarterback battle continues, but returning letterman Jake Retzlaff seems to have the edge over Baylor and USF transfer Gary Bohannon. BYU head coach Kalani Satake provided an update on the two quarterbacks vying for the starting job. Jake, he, he knows the offense way better than, than what Gary's done and a lot more comfortable with the way that a-Rod calls it, and A-Rod's coached that position. So he's he's further ahead, but you can see the ability in both those guys, and the competition's been really nice for those guys to get after it. And then you're starting to see a really a, a really cool bond between the two of them. And then the rest of the room, I mean, the, 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 I've been really pleased with the way the quarterbacks are running the offense. For more BYU football coverage, subscribe to the Cougar Tracks podcast and download the KSL Sports app today. With Cougar Tracks, I'm Mitch Harper on your legacy home of the BYU Cougars. KSL News Radio. At JCW's, we think tipping might be getting a little out of hand. Like when you're asked to tip at the register before you've even been served, or when you're at the yogurt shop and find yourself serving yourself. And don't even get us started on frosted tips making a comeback. That's why at JCW's, when you pay for a third pound ranch bacon cheeseburger, that's what you pay. And no one at the register is going to stare longingly at you while you awkwardly maneuver through the tip screen for food you don't even have yet. Honestly, we're just happy to see you at any of our five locations in Provo, South Jordan, Lehigh, Harriman, and American Fork. So come on in and enjoy some quality time and great food with family and friends. And we promise we won't be pushing you for a tip. Hey, this is Chris with JCW's, and we just want to say thank you, and especially to our loyal customers. We want you to know that at JCW's, your business is all the tip we need. JCW's, quality and a lot of it. Before a disaster turns your family's world upside down, it's up to you to be ready. Get a kit. Make a plan. Be informed. Learn how at www.ready.gov. Brought to you by the Federal Emergency Management Agency and the Ad Council. Boyd Matheson. Listening to inside sources is a little different from just reading the headlines because we're always going to get you into that think again moment. 
We have experts from around the country, across the world, and right here local to home that'll help us dive in and get past just the hype, the fluff, the fake fights, and the false choice so we can get into the news to help you connect the dots and make the news make sense. Join Inside Sources with Boyd Matheson, 1 to 3, on KSL News Radio. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Here's Ricky Meese. You will still see some spots of heavy and slow traffic scattered from the south interchange to just past Bangor Highway, southbound I-15. Even those spots are thinning out. The rest of your Salt Lake County freeways look good. Mark? Now you're spending a little extra time on 2100 North as you get from I-15 out to Redwood Road. Redwood itself, only sluggish right around. Camp Williams, I-15 in Utah County, and everything out west has improved. Steve? Leftover slow spots on North 15 between 21st and 13th South. Also in uh, in uh, Davis County from Roy up to Riverdale. Still a long, slow ride on northbound 89 tonight between SR-193 and I-84. Discover the power of hands-on learning at Tooele Technical College with affordable, flexible, and achievable technical education. Your future begins here. Apply today at tooeletech.edu. That's tooeletech.edu. Steve Carlson in the KSL Traffic Center. It's going to be rain and snow tonight with a low of 33 degrees. Same deal tomorrow. Scattered rain and snow, some sunshine mixed in. Sure, your high temperature, 48 for Tuesday. KSL News Time. KSL FM Midvale. 559. Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. This is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Six o'clock at KSL News Radio. I'm Jeff Kaplan. KSL's top local story this hour an apartment fire in Kearns that's led to a complete building evacuation. Many residents are unable to go home. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera was on the scene today speaking with Irene Frisley, who was working from home when the fire started. I looked outside and saw like a fire truck show up, so I thought maybe I should put on some pants. So I put on some pants. Right as I was putting on my sweatshirt, the police opened the door and said, get out, get out, get out. We know that 12 units in the apartment building have been impacted. The top four apartments were destroyed. The bottom eight left with water damaged 34 residents displaced. KSL News Time 601, our top national story this hour from ABC News. Heavily armed federal authorities today raided homes in LA and Miami belonging to rapper Sean Diddy Combs. ABC's Kena Whitworth with the latest. Law enforcement sources telling ABC News that this case is being handled out of the Southern District of New York and the investigation involves allegations of human trafficking. Combs had multiple lawsuits leveled against him in recent months with allegations of sexual assault and sex trafficking. Allegations he denies. ABC's Kena Whitworth coming up. More of the same, but for how long? KSL weather is coming up next. KSL News Time, 601, Monday evening. You love the feel behind the wheel. You'll love the new 2024 Acura MDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 MDX only $589 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. Acura. 1111 South Main. You'll love the new 2024 Acura RDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 RDX Super Handling All-Wheel Drive only $459 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. 1111 South Main. This Monday Tax Tip is brought to you by Susan Spears, CEO of the Utah Association of CPAs. If you haven't already funded your retirement for 2023, do so by April 15th. That's the deadline for contributing to a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA. 
Making the deductible contribution could help you lower your tax liability this year. To qualify for the full annual IRA deduction in 23, you must either 1. Not be eligible to participate in a company retirement plan, or 2. If you are eligible, your adjusted gross income must be less than $73,000 for single or head of household filers, or $129,000 or less for couples filing jointly. The maximum IRA contribution you can make is $6,500 or 